Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Freaky Friday. The one and only. have at long last arrived at the thrilling and epic conclusion of our Circle Undone campaign. And it's worth pointing out, if you're joining us just now for the finale, I know the kind of person you are. Which is, you skip ahead to the end to find out what's going to happen. You I'm, read the Wikipedia article before you watch the episode. Here's the thing. I'm not sure this is true. Because ShadowClan CT, I see your name here in the chat. I believe that ShadowClan may have joined us literally yesterday for the first time. Really? Might not even know what Arkham Horror is. Give us give us a shout. Let us know. Well, You're about you, to witness the end of a, an incredible campaign. And if you want to watch the rest of it, it's on our YouTube channel. There's an Arkham Horror playlist. Uh, but for those at home who haven't been keeping score... Steve and I are playing with the Starter Investigator decks released by Fantasy Flight Games in 2020. I'm using Winifred Habamuck, and he is using Stella Clark, I believe is her last name. There she is. Uh, and today we are playing Before the Black Throne, which is the final scenario in the Circle Undone campaign. It has been wild. We had some high highs and some very low lows throughout this campaign. Yep. Well, that's really what Arkham's about. But it, it was, I feel like it took me two or three games before I understood what my deck was doing. I'll say that. Not building it. You don't go in with a, an idea of what you're trying to be doing in the first place outside of just what you're reading on the cards you draw. Mm -hmm. uh, I once had a uh, once had somebody describe Arkham to me as like um, you have to basically uh, well, it's actually, you know what? It's actually, it's kind of gross. You have to be suffocated to appreciate breathing. Literally somebody said that to me about Arkham. Or I saw it on like a comment or something. I can't remember. And it stuck with me. Because in a lot of ways... That's a very intense version it's of the analogy. It's true, yeah. <clears throat> you have to lose to know how great it feels to win. Yeah, but stuff. Arkham, you don't just lose. I think you feel it a lot harder. Yeah, you survive. Like, I've lost Destiny. I've lost Flesh and Blood. But when we lose Arkham, it's like... We we hate it. I, I feel like... <laughs> be, feel like What's up, Water Lily Joy? <laughs> The best games of Arkham are the ones that come down to that last round and the decisions are tight. Like, we did the Essex County Express, one of the greatest sessions of gaming I've ever played. It takes everything from you when it goes, goes poorly. When it goes well, it's very fulfilling mm -hmm. because you really feel like you get, put everything on the line, you barely pulled it off, and, like, mm -hmm. it, it creates that feeling. And when you fail at that, it's exhausting because yes. you get done and you're, like, hopeless, and it's just like, It was what? so close. It could have been. Yeah, or maybe not. Sometimes it was bad. Maybe so, sometimes the bag, the bag taketh away, right? Literally, it was it was bad. You remember that one game? It, we had one here in Circle and Done where it was just like just you just are drawing bad tokens constantly. Yeah, we got so, and some and that's see that's the thing. Randomly, according to a thousand monkeys, a thousand typewriters, there is an Arkham scenario where we will pull nothing but that tentacle. That would be statistically possible. Rare. It should only ever happen once in the history of humankind. Oh, that's not true. Infinite typewriters, infinite monkeys, hands in the bag? I mean, the six, let's, let's say there's 15 tokens in there. Mm -hmm. So it's one of 15. Yeah. We have an infinite amount of time. And it will happen. I know, but like, let's say that you pull 50 times out of one game. Uh -huh. So one 15th times one 15th 50 times is how often that would happen. Yeah. And yet, it feels like it happens an awful lot. Maybe that's just a fallacy of my reasoning. Who knows? <laughs> uh, quick recap, if you want to know what happened. Um, that's right, Jose. Just stay and watch. That's exactly right. Who, kn who Bryce, knows? you're good. Just stay and watch. I, I saw a wave. I'm just making sure you're good. Uh, quick recap for those who didn't watch all of other scenarios. There are some witches and stuff. It's basically classic witch stuff. We went, <laughs> I, I, I can't even remember at this point what was real and what was in the... Ethereal realm. I'll tell you what I know. I know that there was a fancy club, a la like the Freemasons, and they were into some possibly evil stuff. And we were like, ah. And they said, we're into this evil stuff because we want to defeat the evil stuff, not because we want to engage in the evil stuff. And we were like, ah, you know, you've been killing some people and it's a little shady. We're not quite sure where you are ethically. So we lied to them. Uh, which is the only ethical response in that in that way, or moral response. And in think. turn, they rewarded us. And so they said, hey, well, you're one of us now. Uh, kind of a stonecutter situation, uh, if you watch The Simpsons. And then um, we were like, but secretly, we were like, hey, we're not really we with them. We don't trust them, yeah. And so then some witches showed up, and we're like, well, we're really not into the witches. Um, but then we were like, well, we're not sure if being against the Masons 
is also being for the witches. We Turns out it was. Turns out that was the case. They were kind of competing uh, powers in in the grand game of evil, and so we uh, we abandoned the, uh, the the Freemasons there at the very end. They got destroyed by the witches and some bizarre, you know, Lots classic ancient spirits of evil kind of uh, inhabit this body. Body uh, runs roughshod over everybody and everything. Is creepily like talking to us and we're freaked out. And then uh, essentially wanders around uh, this city, I think. And then we try to like do something and in last scenario, we didn't really get anything done, did we? We got out. Did what, we resign? We resigned. What was happening in the last scenario? We got like right at the very end. Oh, it was the it was the pandemic, where we had to flip the clue tokens. Oh, and, and the explosions! Like it felt and, like it was going okay, and then yeah. all of a sudden we, we lost. All of a sudden, and like the the bad thing came out right at the end, and then at it was the over. Location that I was at. Yeah, it just dunked right on. That's me right. At the end. You got dunked um, on. That's I like correct. this. Uh, ben Sweeney saying, I'm here for the analogy plug, finding out where to get the book on Reddit, and to hear how much Stephen hates this game. Northern Light says, all right, time to fire off some of our Covenant bingo checklist. <laughs> Waiting on a water bottle plug, the plant mention, the mention of the book, and where to get it, and then also Stephen talking about hiking. What else should be on my you bingo You know, it's card? funny that you mention it, because I do happen to have one of our key sponsors represented here on the stream. Nalgene Bottles Made in America. This is food grade HDPE plastic. <laughs> Water your soul, water your family, water your life. Your cells. Your water cells you waiting it. for. It's got what plants? <laughs> water you waiting for. Oh my goodness. You can and have also, that for free now, hey, Corporation. You say, what are you waiting for? You put that. KH put McClure that has campaign. a good point. Uh, Stephen Land update has to be a bingo square. This is um, a comically sized bottle. I'm only now looking at it in the monitor. Usually when I'm delivering these like bizarre Cobra lines, asking, I'm staring at it so I don't get to see. It, it, is it has a lot comical. of presence. Yeah. It can cover my entire... I mean, that's a lot of water. <laughs> it's a lot of water. Uh, 1,400 milliliters for anyone keeping track at home. It also goes up to 48 ounces on the line there. So if you ever need to measure... How many of those does the average person need during a day? About Six? seven to eight. Mm-hmm. Nah. Mm-mm. 400 ounces of water. And here you can only uh, really get eight ounces an hour. Okay. So, so there are 48 away, ounces here. 18 hours. So uh, what is it? Eight times... Uh, See, I heard it was one ounce four, per pound of body. Five. Eight times is about six. That's right. So six hours worth of water here. If you if you successfully dose eight ounces an hour, you could get by for six hours. So, you know, stay up for about eighteen hours, right? That that's fair. I mean, that's only six hours of sleep, but about eighteen hours. So three of these a day, taking eight ounces on the hour every hour should get you through. You know how many people do that? Not very many. <laughs> I drink a ton of water. Yeah, me too. Me too. Not soda. Soda'll kill you. Cage McClure saying, that is an intimidating Nalgene bottle. It's the Maglite of bottles. Yeah, I well, can't help but agree. Uh, Psych yeah. Ogre asking the important question, why in the world did we get him started on the water? You know, it actually is very in character because I've always been into water as an element. Uh, you know, like uh, Quotia and Monster Apocalypse yeah. and water, you know, things. Well, unfortunately, I can't so, contain my favorite element. This is real bottle. life. Yeah, fire. Fire doesn't doesn't travel well. well. That's what the that's what the the old fashioned is ultimately, isn't it? Kind fire, of fire, fire and a it. fire and a drink. I, I it makes a little sense too. I feel like your uh, a lot of uh, elemental things about water, even its permanence. I can't get rid of it. It's just gonna keep being around. Yeah, and it appears and it comes back. It adapts very well. It sure does. Fire, meantime, it can be the strongest <clears throat> and also give the most. Water. Yeah, it can do a lot. And it surrender it. It creates canyons. But it sure can't burn a forest down like a fire. You know what no, I mean? No, it sure can't. Hats off to Oregon, Washington, <laughs> California. Hearts out to everybody Samuel out there. Says, I think it's called a Molotov. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is 2020. I feel like this is the moment yeah, that's right. for fire in a bottle. <laughs> it really is. It is time for that. That's hilarious. All right, you ready to get into this thing? I'm ready. Can you give me my narrator voice? All right, here we go. Unless you want to take a... Uh, we'll just, let's just flip-flop. Right. I'll do the end. You do the beginning. Scenario 8. Before the Black Throne. Onward and onward. Your steed carries you into the inky nightmare of the void beyond. Did you say my seed? Steed. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I just had to okay, stop if I think you said <laughs> seed there. That's a different vibe. You dare not turn and look behind <clears throat> you, for you know that what you see will likely break your heart, or mm -hmm. perhaps your mind. Kind of a pillar of salt situation? Yes. Don't look back, Rebecca. <laughs> Great horror slide darkly amidst the blackness and loneliness of the cosmos. You had hoped to marvel at a beautiful, glimmering array of stars, but instead you are left with an empty pit in your stomach as the unabated vastness of the dark, cold universe looms before you. 
In the distance, a far-off melody rings its chords, a melody you could not possibly recreate in your universe with any known instrument. Nor could your ears interpret its notes were it not ringing in your head this very moment. It's bagpipe. It has to be a bagpipe. 1920s. Is this a riddle? <laughs> Have I saw <laughs> Go to the next page. <laughs> the unholiest of instruments. It must be a bagpipe. <laughs> there is a rush of air as you breach the turret of a nightmare, nightmarish onyx barrier and descend into an infinite cavern of black stone and impossible architecture. The music grows as you plunge unswerving through an impossible valley, through shoals of shapeless beings, and between things that lurk and dance in the blackness beyond. You cannot help but listen to the strange music, committing each terrible, dissonant note to memory. No thought or dream of humanity can reach you here, in this place that was long ancient when Earth was born. You can only hope to guide your steed to the place where you must go, the throne upon which Azavath itself sits. Continue to page 224. Very nice. I realize I should, I should turn you up a little bit. We have a little load for the cast. I'm going to forget to move those files to Dropbox tonight. Would you remind me to do that after this? I usually do it before we start streaming, and I just know. There's only one way to do it. Are you going to set a reminder? Oh, yeah. oh wow. Workplace efficiency on stream here. So I'm going to turn Zach up. Remind so... me about the podcast <laughs> files at 4.30 p.m. So if you turn the music or the, the volume up to hear Zach here, we're going to fix that now. We'll keep the levels even. I, I started uh, writing things down and setting reminders, and my brain does not do that kind of thing mm -hmm. at the, anymore. Okay, you, you ready? took the function away, yeah. Gather all cards from the following encounter sets. You already did it. Done. That's a really, really real change. Find in here. the hideous palace. So it's probably in here. Yep. Hideous palace. Oh, wow. This is going to be insane. Yep. Everyone said it's absurdly crazy. No, it's not there. Wait, hold on. Maybe it's here. I mean, do I get a hideous palace? There it is. Get a hand or something? Court of the Great Old Ones. Mm, yeah, I see where this is going. And the Black Throne. Yeah. Set them out of play. Done. Put the cosmic ingress location into play. Okay. We're going in. Each investigator begins play at the cosmic ingress. Okay. Shuffle the remaining location cards into a separate deck. These. Cosmos side face up. Look at all these. It would crazy? have been very appropriate to have uh, Cosmos drink today. Look at <laughs> It's never appropriate. <laughs> I hate that drink. Check that out. Hmm. No, nah, don't look at the back of it. What are you? <laughs> he can't help himself. <laughs> That's creepy. It's like a dragon playing an instrument with a tentacle head. Yeah. Or strangling something. I can't. Yeah, well, you know. Six dozen of one, half dozen of nine. <laughs> <laughs> I like getting things like that slightly wrong. I, it's a thing I do because it, it... I shouldn't do it. It drives my wife crazy. So my brain just does it now. That's a sign of a good relationship. Yeah. You got to have fun. Uh, shuffle the remaining locations of the deck. This deck is called the Cosmos. Take the set aside Hideous Palace and the top card of the Cosmos and shuffle them so you cannot tell which is which. Hideous Palace, top card of the Cosmos, shuffle them. Then put them into play along with the face down player cards from the top of the lead investigator's deck. Along with face down. A face down? Then put them into play along with face down player cards from the top of the lead investigator's deck. As depicted in location placement for setup act one, face down player cards represent empty space. So we'll get to that. You're just going to lose some off the top? Look at that. Wait. We need to find out who, who's the lead investigator to you. It's, it's, it's me. Yeah. We'll, get, we'll get back around to that. Okay. Uh, set the Piper of Azza enemy aside out of play. We dealt with this last time. There's the Piper cards. Okay. Put Azazoth into play next to the agenda deck. Okay. The... Calling all Azathoths. Probably in there. For the remainder of the scenario, yeah. Azathoth is in play, but is not at any location. He's okay. ever present. Check the campaign log. For each tally mark you recorded next to, the path winds before you. Three. Place one resource on the scenario reference card. Let's just do that. There you go. <clears throat> Shuffle the remainder of the encounter cards to build the encounter deck. Okay. We got some ancient evils. We got some demonic piping. We've got this mindless dancer. Oh, my clothes. Got. All right. Let me. 
do the impossible, which is explain the cosmos to you. Now, we need to draw our hands before we do the, the setup. We're supposed to draw hands before all of this, as Jan correctly said. Okay. So you, you get a chance to find what you need before you lose your deck to... That sounds fun. Yeah. All right, I'm shuffling. But, you know, every card you, you put here could also get you closer to the better cards that you want. A card gamer fallacy there. I don't know what's going on there. It looks like a weird can, game. Can you switch my mic? Four. Yeah. All right, you're clean. <clears throat> We're back. So we should draw our hands now before we get further? Yeah, I think so. I've got a Cosmos deck. Let's go ahead and... I definitely just shuffled the act and agenda. Nope, there it is. And you're going to... I'll, I'll get to these when it's uh, time. Yeah. And then we got Azathoth sitting here all... Ah! I'm a big, big demon. He does like terrifying. You want to put the Cosmos deck next to him? Sure. That's tidy. I like that. That gives me a great amount of pleasure. Can't say pleasure these days anymore, can you? Do you have our boards? Yep. Can't can't even begin to embark upon an Arkham journey without a board. Goober saying, uh, I, uh, I played this scenario last night. It's really fun. Wait, do you have our boards? I don't have them. Hey, who's on oh, first? No, I've got them. Mmm, one of those. Quality check. We was under the bridge. All right. The Cosmos. <clears throat> Throughout this scenario, new locations will interplay from the top of the Cosmos, a separate deck consisting of double-sided locations. This is primarily done via the ability on each act. Action, spend X clues, draw the top X of the cards of the Cosmos, choose one to put into play using its connection instructions and move to it. Shuffle the rest back into the Cosmos. You get so, to look at them before we choose the back spend of them? spend clues. You get to look at that many cards off the top of the deck, and then you get to choose one to put into play. Okay. And it'll say, like on the act here, it'll say, the revealed side of each Cosmos location has a Cosmos instruction, which tells the investigator where to connect the location. For example, Cosmos connect above would mean the newly drawn location should be placed immediately above the investigator's location, whereas Cosmos connect to the right would mean near, et cetera. You get it. A new location, would that one go to the right? It sure, actually left. Well, right... From whose perspective? It, 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 Yours? It's left because it, the previous location has to be to the right. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, can you define you for me in this game? Oh my goodness. <laughs> a new location cannot interplay in a position already occupied by a location. Right. If a location connection instructions are impossible to fulfill, the location should shuffled back into the cosmos and cancel the effects of the move. Ooh. So you would never pick unless you couldn't pick. You got else. it. You got it, yeah. Cosmos. Instructions are only resolved when location is being drawn from the cosmos. When revealing a Cosmos location that is already in play, do not follow its Cosmos instructions. So if that if that location is already in play, yeah, don't do it. Uh, oh yeah, it's, let's do hands before we see whatever is about to happen. Is it blurry? Somebody say that. I haven't actually checked the focus in a while. It's draw five. Are you guys gonna make me do that? Is that this I'll this game? It. Yeah, draw five. Set aside any weaknesses. Redraw. Set aside anything you don't want. Redraw. Shuffle it all back in. Cigarette case. That's good to find. Probably keeping Lonnie, not keeping the dexterity. I mean, I don't know. Anything you can do better is pretty okay. Ooh, it's bright. Why is it so bright? Why does everything change all the time? I don't understand. Okay, I'm changing this. That looks better. Yeah. Somebody was pressing my buttons. Was it you? It's much better. Good eyes, good eyes out there. Good eyes. Good eyes. <laughs> good eyes. <clears throat> that looks better, yeah? Yeah. I think so. Okay. So, uh, I am going to keep my cigarette case and my Lonnie. I think I'm going to keep anything you can do better. Well, you, I have plenty you know, of stuff to spend money on. That's the best skill card I can get. You could, you could, lose, you could lose it all at any moment. So then I, then I draw and then I shuffle these back in. That's this game. Yeah. Oh, oh lock good lockpick. And a copycat. Somebody wants to lockpick the cosmos. 
I've never been more confident of my plan. It's Winnie. Okay, let's see what I'm dealing with. Good, 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 good. Okay, I'm going to keep this always. Grit Your Teeth is a better late game card for me. Live and Learn, I can't even really pass it up. Test of Will is less good than I want it to be. Dumb Luck, nope. Let's get some assets. Uh oh, It'd be a weird one for old Steven. Well, nothing but net. It is going to be the Cosmos, so it should be weird. Location placement for setup. The following abbreviations are used in the setup of the scenario. E denotes empty space. S denotes starting Ugh, location. C denotes the Cosmos locations that are placed during the placement setup. I hope you're paying attention to what you're reading. I am. Empty. Just a game of Cosmic Connect 4. Technically, it has it like this. With me? Yeah. So there's an empty space, empty space, empty space, empty space, empty space, empty space. Those spaces matter because like a location would go here. To get to these, we'd have to... Okay. Okay, we got to put stuff in. Empty space. During the scenario, you will sometimes be instructed to place empty space into play. This is done by taking the top card of the active investigator's deck and putting it into play face down in the indicated position. If there's no active investigator, the top cards of the lead investigator's deck should be used instead. Empty space is not a location and cannot be entered by enemies or investigators unless otherwise noted. It does, however, count as a location for the purposes of determining the distance between two locations. A location can enter play in a position occupied by empty space. Should this happen, the empty space card is shuffled back into the owner's deck. Okay. So, what it's having me do, because I'm a lead investigator, because the this is the blackness of space. Wow. Is do this. See you later. And then basically if one of these would get replaced with an actual location, it'll shuffle back into my deck. Okay. You don't get to draw it? No, because it's Arkham. Yeah. Yeah, feel free to do your thing. Yeah, this is gonna we're gonna we're set up for this. We got a nice zoom out today. Case McClure saying the black katana sleeves are perfectly thematic for this. Yeah, well planned from the beginning. Three months ago. I knew that's or in March I knew that was where we were heading. I need Black's to use all the black sleeves that way in case there's ever a dead space scenario. Black's a pretty safe bet for Arkham. Let's just put it that way. And then, when the game is complete, to be continued. What up, Cryo Shark? Saying, hey, Zach and Steven, greetings from Germany. Really looking forward to see how this one pans out. Always blows my mind that we have people all over the world with us to play and enjoy these games. That's right. Don't mind me. Uh, what kind of trauma do I have? Do you remember? Mental. My, my brain's messed up. Yeah. <laughs> but you, you caught my joke eventually. It was good. Ow. <laughs> right, I was ready. <laughs> Ow. What's up, Locator? Good to see you. Northern Lights over Arkham. Great to see you as always. Retro Daniel saying black holes actually do emit a very small amount of light around the edges. Cluster watching. Yeah, good luck proving it. Yeah, so black holes are something I try not to think about. It's pretty easy. You don't really have to. I mean, but if you start doing it, it's terrifying. Yeah, 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 definitely. And gravity and universe and how it works. I, if I'm, I'm definitely really into it. If I was kind of at the end of my life and I had the opportunity to either stay on Earth or get shot into a black hole, I think I would take the black hole. Just to see. What's the downside? I mean, the downside is you could suffer eternally. Oh, uh, it would just be a tiny bit of pain, right? We don't know. Or maybe, maybe not. I uh, I thought you were going another direction, which is like, my hope is that by the end of my life, it's very normal to go to space. Yeah. I would, I'd prefer to be, you know, off somewhere galactically. You want to retire in a, like a space bubble? It'd be cool. It would be cool. Or like, you know, like you retire and it's like, hey, we're sending people to this faraway galaxy and we they may never make it or come back. But like, you've only got 10 or 15 left in you. So like, why not? Yeah, I think I'd do that. Maybe that'll be our final act. I at least want to go to space. I would love to go to space as well. You might be my only option, because I uh, I don't think Shannon would go with me. Really? Yeah. I don't think Shannon would go terrified. with me. She'd be terrified. Well, they can hang out on Earth. That's right. Hey, you guys can <laughs> hang out and see where I We're, we're out of here. We're going to space. To infinity and beyond. <laughs> All right, you ready for me to read the agenda in the act? Sure. 
Here we go. Maybe that's maybe that'll be our crown of achievement is taking our table to space. That's right. The final stream. That's right. We've been. It's it. been a great <laughs> fifty years. Still playing that. We're runner. streaming Arkham in space. That's right. Uh, agenda one A. The the wheel of fortune. Turn, turn, turn. Do, 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 do. Uh, Will of Fortune X. One end is another beginning. Change is the only constant. Your ultimate fate is at hand. Each location is connected to each location adjacent to it. Do not remove doom from enemies when the agenda advances. Ooh, that's a bummer. Or doom. And look at that. Look at that dream catcher. Very nice. Act 1A. The cosmos beckons. From the horizonless breach in the gaping maw of the sky, you have traveled an impossible distance. And yet, you are still many leagues from the knighted throne where Azazoth stirs. Action. Spend X clues. Draw the top X cards of the cosmos. Choose one to put into play using its cosmos instructions. And move to it. Shuffle the rest back into the cosmos. Objective. Only investigators at Hideous Palace may spend the requisite number of clues as a group to advance. Okay, and we know it's one of these. Yep. Two clues. Mm -hmm. Let me just read on the cosmos here. The stars danced mockingly, almost shifting now and then to form pale signs of doom that one might wonder one had not seen and feared before. And ever the winds of ether howled of vague blackness and loneliness beyond the cosmos. Wow. You ready for me it's to read overborn, this? Isn't it? Cosmic ingress? Just kidding. Otherworld. That eldritch scaly monster bore its helpless rider, hurtling and shooting, cleaving the uttermost rim and spanning the outermost abysses, leaving behind the stars in the realms of matter and darting meteor-like through star formless, stark formless toward those inconceivable, unlighted chambers beyond time. We've arrived. Two shroud, three clues, forced. At the end of the round, add three clues to the cosmic ingress until it has three clues on it. No, or it's add a clues forever uh, clue bank. Each void location gains action. Shuffle this location into the cosmos, move e moving each investigator and enemy that was at this location to the cosmic ingress. So we can always reset back to there. Okay. From a void. Um, and it comes in with three clues, and those keep happening. But we basically need clues, and then we need to make it to those locations. Okay. What does what does Azza do there? He's a giant, uh, essentially, uh, clam, right? He's got that pearl there in the middle? I don't know what he is. Azathoth, uh, the primal chaos, he's an ancient one, he's elite. He's oblivious and omnipotent. It is immune to all player card effects and investigator actions and cannot be defeated by any means. Forced, if there is ten or more doom on Azathoth, the blind idiot god rises from its throne in the ultimate void of chaos and devours the universe. So we have ten turns? Well, he gets doom. Yeah, but if he has 10 or more, then he, he destroys us. But right now, there's nothing that's placing doom on him. Oh, I'm sure we'll find out soon. Okay. By the way, that's Earth, apparently. Oh, is it? As if Earth was that important. Uh, Nolan asking, still no holiday uh, cosmic tokens. No, those are not available yet. We are running the gamut on fixing some Plowing issues. Plowing through the quality... Uh, uh... Set, uh, assurance on that. Yeah, so we'll have those up as, as soon as we can. Pay, if you're on the community text where you can text with us, we'll notify the champions people specifically uh, once that. If you're already on there and you haven't told us that you're into champions, just text us the word Marvel Champions and you'll be added to the list. Uh, and we'll also Discord, post on social. Discord, et cetera, post, et cetera. All right. So this is just a lingering death. I mean, it's the classic Cthulhu thing, right? But like, there's elder gods that just like are impossible to kill, and like doom awaits. Obviously, this thing is going to attack us because why else would you print it and also have three damage and three sanity on it? It's a good question. Something's going to happen with that. It's not good. I got. I've got a sneaking suspicion. Not good. Okay. Okay. Hmm. So we have to basically spend, spend clues, clues to look at the cosmos. Put on the top card, put it in a play, and then move. But, you know, we might get a situation where we, we do an up card and then we can't find a right card, and now we're... Did we move with it when we go? Yeah, when you reveal it, you move to it. So... we got to spend two clues at the Cosmos Beckon, so we need to always hold two just in case we happen to find it. I feel like a pretty good, like, bet at this point in my mind is if you can get a clue, use it to just look at the top location, Whoa. To see if we can move. 
Whoa. And play something as well with your resources. Okay. Or you can wait. You can like play something, get some clues, do whatever you want to do. But Let's look at Before the Black Throne. We have the skull is uh, minus the amount of doom on Azathoth to a minimum of two. So it starts at two. Minus two. And then once it gets to three doom, it's minus three, four doom, minus four. Okay. Uh, the hood uh, cultists reveal another token. If you fail, search the encounter and discard for a cultist and draw it. So we should see some cultists here. Minus three on the tablet. If you fail, Azathoth attacks you. Don't so minus three failing means three and three damage. That's awful. And then the tentacle is minus, or the uh, gas mask, minus six. If your modified value is zero, place a doom on Azathoth. So that's going to happen constantly. Although, in your case, you sometimes have a seven to eight skill, so you yeah. might not get totally <clears throat> punted by it. I'm pretty good at it. So I have like lock picks to get me up to like an eight investigate. Let's take a look. Okay, we have no tablets. So Azathoth will not attack us. Were we supposed to add any tablets or anything weird? Oh, wait, that's hard expert. Oh, okay. So uh, the skull is minus X. X is half the doom on him. Okay. Rounded up to a minimum of two. Still the two. The thing is still, if you fail, search the encounter deck and discard about for a cultist enemy. Draw it. The tablet's minus two, and if you fail, you So we don't have any of those things. Is this the right bag? Yeah. You're certain. Didn't we take the tablets out for doing something? Yeah, because we is it because we... Betrayed we... the people? Be well, we betrayed everybody. Well, we didn't betray the witches. Well, we betrayed the uh, Silver Twilight Lodge. Yeah. Were they the tablets or were they the cultists, though? Okay. Well, so we've got two of the minus fours, and if you fail, doom on. So watch out there. Minus two on the skull. Yeah, Jan's saying we shouldn't have the tablet. Okay, then we're good. Um, looks like we got a minus three and a minus four. So these are all pretty bad. These are all minus fours here. Minus two, minus three, minus ones. Let's just get a feel for it. We removed the cultist for betraying the lodge. See, we were smart. Yeah, we knew what we were doing. All right, plus one, and then good and bad. Okay, so here's our, uh, here's the balance of power. I get it. So either, in this scenario, you're either going to have him attacking you if you, if you, Went with the lodge, or you're gonna have the cultist coming at you. But we have neither. We we, we, we threaded we split the needle. The fence oh my Perfect. goodness! Perfect. We don't have anything to worry about. But what we do care about minus two is our number. As long as the until the doom gets on Azathoth, minus two is where it's at. That's a good test. Minus three only gives you one extra token. That's not good enough. So if you're gonna go minus two. The next step is going to minus four. Otherwise, don't waste your time. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Glad we all agree. How proud we are of all of them. Proud we are of all of them. All right. Here's what I'm thinking for my turn. I think I play a cigarette case and, and a lock. Got assets and a lock awesome. picks. And then I do one investigate with a lock picks, trying to exceed by a decent amount. Yeah. And then use my cigarette case to draw cards. Yeah, good. And have a clue. And the next round, I'll go in and probably get one more clue. And then. But we need. To... If we don't clear some of these, we miss the opportunity to get free clues on the location. We'll need to clear them. I can clear some yeah. too. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to play cigarette case and lock picks with my money. Then I'm going to use my lock picks. I'm at an eight to two. Good. That's four up. Six up. Six up. Classic counting. Math holds. Nice. Minus four, so I good time two. for it. Good time for it. So I'll get a clue. I'll trigger the cigarette case. Good time for I'll it. I'll look at the top two cards. Mm. Mm, Man, you're online. Should I just be drawing then? Put that in my hand and then shuffle these back. You're online. <laughs> yeah, mm. I had a good hand. One of them good goodens. Okay, so let's say we've got... So you have the impression, get clues and then spend so like, them. If you can get at least one clue, because it refills three every round. Yeah. So I just get both of them. I'm, a, I'm cool with that. First action, taking that test. Two to two. We all know what this looks like. Just don't get the gas mask. 
Very nice. Two to two, going to zero. Failed by two. Look what I found. Oh my goodness. Discover two. I also failed the test, which means that I get three actions now. I get that fourth action with Stella. Stella! Okay. Second action. That was actually a difficulty of three because quick learner, so it works out just the same. Okay, second action. You want to go ahead and do you cash one clue here and just take the top card? That's a pretty Bugatti play. Because three three directions work. But if it says left, what happens? You waste a clue. You shuffle it back in. Hmm. All right, let's try it. You go in one? Second action, one clue. Roll the dice. What's the, what's the proper name of it so we can pop it? Flight into oblivion. That sounds fun. Yeah, it's it's normal. You must either connect above or take to horror and connect to the topmost revealed location in a direction of your choice. I'm going to I'm going to put it above. But note if you drew that location when you were already one step up, it would have been a problem. Well, that makes you wonder, do you dunk it into the middle? Does it have to go above though? It says or take to horror and connect to the topmost revealed location in a direction of your choice. Topmost revealed location. These aren't revealed locations, right? What's mm. topmost? Oh, the, the highest on the chain? Probably. Okay. Because they're stairs. That's that's what it's trying to say. Yeah. It's supposed to go up. So this shuffles back in? Oh, how cool are those? Yeah, stairs. Action, remove one resource from the scenario reference card. Wait. This one. Yeah. Move the placement once upward. Well, we're not going to be doing that. Oh, we haven't done it yet. So here we go. So yeah. we can spend a resource to move it up. Yeah, but obviously it's like that, stairs that travel. forever go. Yeah. And That's you move there. Pretty cool. And there's and one, clue, one clue. I'm going to snap that clue up. Ah, Big Kahuna saying you can go outside the formation. Oh, really? <laughs> yep. But no, why would we ever want to do that? That that seems way out of line. Retro says you probably never would, though. But like technically, if you had a up connection here, you could. Hmm. You just, I couldn't have an up now because there's already something there. Fascinating. Thomas, it has begun. All right, third action. Difficulty is minus one because of uh, Quick Learner. I'm going to go ahead and pop a copycat target for you on this one. So third action, I think I'm actually going to draw. Yep. And then fourth action, I'm going to take the test. No, let's do that. Let's do that backwards. So third action, not going to live and learn. Now the rain or snow. So that's currently a two. Difficulty is one plus three, some five to one. You know why we do that. Zero. You can now copycat a nice mm, nice test yeah. here. Cool, cool. Last action, I'm just going to draw a card. That just says fourth action, run R&D. Or do you just get another location? There's only one way you can go now. Mm-hmm. You can also move back. Mm-hmm. That's tempting. I do want to be together. Because we're going to have three more clues there, right? It's the, it's the ever giving. It is. It's the pinata. And if we draw a right, we really, well, I'd like to take a crack at, at right here. I'm going to draw a card. I need to get some kind of an engine going. Chris, how about giving Perfect. you some sagely Netrunner advice? Never draw last. Oh, I, but it's the black book. It's exactly what I needed. All right, go to the good stuff. Yep. Gain of money, draw a card. These decks have gotten better. Enemies, enemy. No enemies. One Doom. Doom on. Back to us? Yep. No, no, the bad cards. No, we don't do that. Did you shuffle this? Mm hmm. Yeah, it could be a weakness. It, it's true. No, you're, you're totally right. Terror in the Night. Test four brain. Hmm. <laughs> If you fail, put Terror in the Night into play next to the agenda deck. If you fail by three or more, it gains Surge. If there are three copies in the, of Terror in the Night next to the agenda deck, discard them, and each investigator takes three horror. I mean, how, you know, just fail it. 
Let's I mean, just, I don't have to. Let's just not surprise ourselves here. This one doesn't matter. I, I would go crazy on the third one. Okay. Now, Surge kind of is a bummer, but... Surge. Minus two. <laughs> Can I put it up here so yeah. it doesn't Mysterious chanting. Place two doom on the nearest cultist enemy. If there are no cultist enemies in place, search the encounter deck and discard pile for a cultist enemy and draw it. Okay. You got a gun or anything in your hand? Yeah, but it's not going to help me with the enemy that's... Do you actually have a gun? Yeah. Oh, cool. The old space gun. Also known as a blaster. Look for that cultist. I'm going to have Cultist. That's what happens when you drink that Nalgene water. That's right. Just grabbing all the cultists to see what our choices are. So there's the Acolyte, and there's the Wizard of the Order. Acolyte seems good. Let's get an Acolyte. All right, so I get an Acolyte, and I can either have it engage Steven or me. I'm going to have it engage me, uh, and then we'll ace this, ace this cat. After you finish play, I put a Doom on. <laughs> Gage McClure saying this scenario goes from we've got this to whoops, sorry universe so fast. Well, cross my fingers, that's not what's gonna happen. Steven, I got an acolyte. Yeah, that's the that's the little weenie one, right? Yeah, he's just a little little guy. Oh, he actually spawns in an empty location. Hmm. Those aren't locations. It says it's empty. It's right there in the lobby. So I Why think is Bryce looking so bothered. Uh, his audio wasn't working, mm. but he did his hand wave, so I got him fixed fixed right up. So I have to put him like one of like over here. Hmm. Actually, you're closer to this one. We're closer to getting that one. Well, that doesn't mean I want the acolyte. Well, he's easy. I to can deal punch with. him. I can punch him. Guard me. Bear me. Ultimate chaos. Test for brain. If you fail. Attach this card to Azathoth. If you fell by two or more, take a damage in horror. If you fell by three or more, you gain Surge. Cannot be canceled. There are three copies. Discard them and either place one Doom on Azathoth or he attacks each investigator in player order. Cannot be canceled. That's so similar to yours. But you might actually pass it. Hmm. Interesting. Now, neither Rain nor Snow here is baller. Because you cancel the effects. Cancel all fail effects. I would do that because that's so many bad things happening. But it was only the first one. But like, it's a damage and a horror plus surge. It's three to four. What's the likelihood of me failing by three? On a three to four, I need a minus two. Very likely. People saying cannot be canceled. Hmm. And answers that question. But does that mean the card can't be canceled or the, the anything about the effect can't be negated? Because that's not canceling it, right? Yeah, it says it right in the card. Can't cancel all effects. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I like your moxie. Liam saying, good evening, gents. Best of luck. It's been an absolute treat watching this campaign. Well, We're ha happy to have you. It's fantastic. So Theodore saying the effects of the fail can be canceled, but the treachery card cannot. Like cards that would cancel a treachery card? Huh. I think I think that makes sense to me. Here's here's a better option, though. I have a better option. Unexpected Courage is a better option here. And let me tell you why. That's surprising. It was unexpected. It's going to make me fail by less and go back in my hand, so it probably won't surge. Or it's going to help me pass the test, and then nothing happens. All right. Show me that courage. Nicholas says, man, shoot, got here late. This is the best scenario in the entire game. Hands down, love this finale. Well, 
Get your popcorn. Minus two, which means I fail it by one. So plus two for unexpected courage, minus two, three to so four. the only thing we do is attach it. That's it. And I failed it, so it goes back in my hand. That's pretty good. It's called using your brain. Big brain time. Anybody out there fans of using your brain? Not me. I can tell you, not a lot of folks. Not as many as you would hope. Got them. <laughs> Got them. <laughs> Got the human race. Yeah. <laughs> Did yeah. it. Did it. All, All right. of you. <laughs> Here we go. Game on. Anybody who's an Arkham player is definitely using their brain. I've never been more sure of anything in my life. As I eat this brick of... That's a very efficient brick of calories. Mm -hmm. That's not the best or worst thing for you. We could have like packs of Oreos and stuff, you know, and Doritos and Mountain Dew. Mm -hmm. Could be worse. Could be eating lentils. It actually sounds good. Mm -hmm. I'm getting old. Yeah. Mm, fiber. You, I shared the other day with my wife the thing you said, which is so accurate. Uh -oh. We were dying laughing, which was, I can tell I'm getting old because I make noises when I stand up. <laughs> <laughs> I do it and I even think about it. I'll be going to catch them like, oh, and it's like, man, I am getting old. What is happening to me? Why is this happening? Yeah. Boy, I kind of want a YOLO one right off the top. So, one location? Mm hmm. It's going to say right. I mean, these clues are pretty easy to get. You want to use two and give yourself a little better chance of actually getting somewhere? I suppose right is the only thing that would work there, isn't it? Yeah. But what if I use two? You could also come back down and then use one and get a right or left down. But one right here gives us potentially the end of this act. That's true. That's true. If we hit it right here, then we still got more work to do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hmm. I say I use two clues and look at the top two. I will not stop you. Yeah. First action. Whitey wise, they say. Black book. It's it's critical and particularly I think relevant when you're in the the Doom Lords underworld. Gaffs. Yolo time. That's right. Second action. Two clues in the bank. Come on, baby. YOLO. Might go left, might go right. Connect a direction of your choice, first of all. Why is Arkham crying? The top one, connect below or take two damage and connect to the bottom most. Well, that's so, not picking. Looks like somebody just pulled pathway into void. Connect in a direction of your choice. The bridge. The bridge. You can have your card back. Thank you. I'm hoping my weakness This gets shuffled back in, I think? Yeah. Into the cosmos. After you enter it, which I'm now doing, you must either discard a card or take a damage. Discard this Grimm's fairy tales in a in a funny turn of events. Uh, you can take an action, remove a resource from the reference card to put it to any adjacent spot, so it can move around. This is our uh, magic carpet. I will show. I can show you the world. So if I go here and it's not the goods. I can come back and go move, move here, so we can check both. <laughs> Cage McClure, straight Duncan. Yeah, this is incredible. This has got to be like the cheat code. I feel like I'm game genie over here. Man, that really is a magic carpet. Mm-hmm. It's a pathway. It's just right there. Three wishes. You just cannot wish for wishes, you know? Mm-hmm. Okay. You don't want to bring anybody back from well, the Well, keep, keep going. Now you just go see if that's the location we're looking for. But you got a stupid acolyte here that you put here. You can't punch him for one? Not, I mean, three to a three? You got cards? Yeah, but these are precious cards, man. I mean, I can't just... But like, I've you... got three cards in my hand. I have no draw engine set up. But you knowing whether or not that's the location saves me a lot of effort. I just wish you wouldn't be so selfish. Well, I... I... I am number one on my list. You can really keep a straight face saying that. All right, so I'm rolling over there. Do you think you can successfully evade or punch that person? That, I'm, a, I'm a quick learner, so it's going to be a, a three fight to a two fight. I'm up by one, and I, I've got a I got a card in here that could probably do that. It's I don't know. I, Unexpected courage, for instance, would get me would to be three a, up. Would, would be a good number. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, third action, let's take a look. 
Thank this acolyte first things first. Thank you very much. I, I appreciate your effort. What are we looking for? It's a cosmic gate. We're looking for the hideous palace. Okay, it says connect to any revealed location and direction of your choice. Probably here. This is revealed, that's revealed, that's revealed. Yeah. Oh, it moves. That's yours. Well, or does this now become an empty space? Does it get shuffled back in and replaced? It does. What happens? Well, the cosmos only gets re triggered when you reveal it from the deck. Is that true? Okay. Put that card back in there. Yeah. Okay. So that doesn't apply. But it's a one clue for one. It's not all bad. Oh, sorry about the thing that's happening next. See the forest? Yeah, I'll take a horror. It's fine. I have a way to heal that later. It's fine. So it's fine. I'll, I'll get it's you. Fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's an action. Remove a resource from the snare reference card. Move any number of investigators at Cosmic Gate to any other void location. Well, that's that's quite nice. Yeah. But now I know that I need to start working in the direction. Yeah. Okay, last action. Let's try to kill this Acolyte. Unexpected Courage coming in. Where's the bag? I'm three up. Teach me how to Dougie. And if you fail, you get another shot at it, technically. Right? No. Action to reveal. Wait, maybe? No. Play the black book. Action to reveal. Did I have to move? Yeah, and then uh, I want to move. Yeah. Fourth action. Ooh. However, <laughs> it fails. I return unexpected courage to my hand. And let's live and learn. Let's try it again at plus two. All right. Live and learn. Punch and acolytes. If you learned anything, it's how to do that. So we're currently a three, five to a three. Two up is a good place to be here. Now, I could, I could dunk on this with the unexpected courage. What's one health worth? Not much. We said minus two was the game. Oof. Boom, boom. Say that unexpected courage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Acolyte, dead, 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 dead. He got into the void. Into you. the void. Gaspar Noe. Done. How's that for being selfish? All right, mine? Mm -hmm. Let's lock picks, investigate. I'm ahead by six. <clears throat> You'd love to see good it. Good little engine for you. So ahead by four. I'll trigger the lucky cigarette case. Man. See? I'm over here doing the hard work, and you're over here just talking to the bank. Goofing around, yeah. Mm-hmm. Ah, you love to see it, Just though. Building your 401k over here. I know. Well, when I retire, it'll benefit everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it will trickle down immediately. Yeah, that's right. That's how that works, right? All right. Put this back in the bag. That's first action. I, I think... get the sense Munya is not reaching retirement age. Yeah. That plane's going down, man. She knows that she only has about 42. Mm -hmm. She's really living life while she can. That's really the motivation. She left herself nothing. Uh, okay, so I think my next thing is I'm going to toss two clues in to try to get a location that works. Do you feel like that's the right math? Mm -mm. <laughs> do, you want, do you want me to elaborate? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Be nice. Yeah. All right, here's, some, here's one thing I do know. I know that you can go move, move, and into the pathway into the void. The other thing I know is we can spin an action to drop this down to here. And then the next turn, we spin an action and drop it down to here. And we've ridden our magic carpet all the way to the cosmos. However, if you pull a right or a down, you could be okay. But I don't think it's worth two clues. That's a lot of clues. Two clues? I mean, I mean that's two actions for we, you. We, have, two we have enough clues to advance the act. So technically, I could move, move. And then we could just take two turns to magic carpet over. And that would that would put us there before the Doom advanced the act. Yeah. Yeah, or the agenda. I like that plan. I mean, it's a safe plan. It's not exactly an exciting plan. Now, meantime, we can, you know, I'll get that clue and move over, and we'll try to drain the clues. Out. The pathway's a four, and neither of us really have much in the way of book smarts. I think I can make it happen. I'm in an eight with my lockpicks. That's that's a good point. And we're gonna you stand. get to pick the pathway twice. Yeah. And I might start drawing and building. Yeah. All right, well, let's do this. And by, what, by that, I mean draw all my weaknesses. 
Perfect. Yeah. Well, you can get him out of the way. Move, move. Done. Okay. Enemy is enemy. Good stuff. Right? Okay. Yeah. This is all Draw a card. Correct. Gain money. Dumon. Dumon. Back cards? Yep. Acolyte. Any empty location. Well, stands to reason. Are you? You want to you want to have a new cosmos friend here? I feel like it's literally because it, that would make it advance before we get there. Yeah. So I can, you can move punch. Punch. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> we there. We good. Someone earlier was saying, uh, thinking back to when I was brand new at the start of this pandemic, and uh, I feel like I understand the game way more than I did back yeah. then. I was having to watch and grimace. A world in darkness. If there is no deal on Azathoth, a world in darkness gains surge. I have to discard a card from this thing. Oh, yeah. yeah. Or good. take a damage. Oh, whatever you want. You got Lonnie, right? No, I got, you don't. I got more cards than I could ever need. Surge it. But if Azathoth had Doom on him, that would get really bad. So let's not let that happen. Okay. Oh, no. Dude, a world of darkness, that art is awesome. Hey, we're about to change our plans. A mindless dancer. Ooh. Ugh. Do you have a gun? Yeah. That's going to become priority number one. In your hand? Yes. That's going to become priority number one. We have a mindless dancer. Spawn it in the farthest empty space, which is going to be this one. Is it? Oh, it's an empty space. Well, it, it counts these as spaces. Here. Right? That's one, two, three from one, two, three, four. So a combined of seven. Mm -hmm. That's one, two, one, two, three. That's one, two, this is definitely one, two, the three. Yeah. That's, that's it. Geometry tells us as much. Can enter empty spaces if it were a location. So it hunts appropriately. And then when it enters an empty location via hunter, it hunts again once per round. So we're going to have to have it hunt like this towards you. And then we're going to magic carpet ourselves here. And then it's going to hunt here. So okay. hopefully the super hunter won't trigger. But it's a six. It's a six with five. We just run from it. You want to just evade it all the time? If we move the magic carpet, does it come with us? If it's engaged with us, probably. I think if we disengage it, it is at the location. Then we move that location. I think it stays with us. 100%. Okay. 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 Uh, well, that's my my bad one. Over to us. We're back. So I can't play the gun and move and attack because I need one more money. It's a conundrum. But I can move, punch, move back. As next long as you get the gun, the gun next turn, yeah. Yeah. I think that's right. You got a good copycat for me? Yeah, tons. Really, neither rain nor snow. Plus three and no fail effects. Am I good to go? You're good to go. Let's swing over. Get the acolyte. We're going to punch. Come in opportunist and copycat. So we're going to snow you. So I'm at... Three, four, five, eight to his three. Go yeah, this goes to the bottom of my deck when it's yeah. done. Mm -hmm. And head by five. Oh, baby. Plus one, so I'm head by six. For every two points I succeed by, I can return a card that I put in to my hand. This one would still go to the bottom. Yeah, so they are both going to come back. And we punch this out. And I succeeded by six, so I'll trigger the lucky cigarette case. Wow. Weakness was on top. How about Why that? am I not this efficient? What's that <laughs> Mauser doing over there? Did you just I have an extra it? one in my hand. Can I just keep this in my palm? Superstar. Mm, wasn't this. Effect, so wasn't. I moved, punched, and then... You moving back? You don't have to. I mean, I may as well. No, I have to suffer that effect. Oh, but, right. Our but I may as well. Yeah. Or, or you just stay there. Mindless Dancer goes here. Then you can roll down. Exhaust, exhaust it. it. You'll move the carpet here. Mm -hmm. And I'll move and then over. then the carpet again. Well, but then I, it's going to double. 
if I move over and it's exhausted here, mm -hmm. it'll ready, and then we can yet. move here, and now we're a space away from it. But it does a double move on the empties. Mm. It, it knows what we're trying to do, yeah. Maybe this is where the showdown happens. You start shooting. That's a beefy... Beefer. Only three shots. I mean, I might, I might be able to do it. You got like 17 cards in your hand. You may as well do something. I'm just down by one before I commit any cards. And I have to hit three times. Yeah, that's impossible. All right, we should evade it. <laughs> also, maybe... Hmm. Maybe I just try to get it down here. What if... What if I just distract it? It is mindless. So, like, if if you go here and move down, I can have him come up to me. Yeah. Or I can come and exhaust him, and, like, I'll just keep dancing around over here with him. You just need two clues by the time you get there. You, you're going to distract the mindless dancer by dancing around with him? Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah, no, that makes sense, especially because you got a five foot to its three, so you're up to four of you even Before started. I even try. Okay. That's that's fine. Now, to be fair, technically, you could also potentially draw that cosmos. I think I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to grab this clue and try to take one off the top. And if you can go straight down to town. But you need two clues by the time you get there. Just remember that. Or I can run around. Well, yeah, and this will probably have clues, you know, whatever we draw on the cosmos here. Okay, so that was my... You get one action left. Mm -hmm. You get some money, I guess. You can pay for that. I will go ahead and get the money. Prepping for my inevitable. First action draw. I need the cards. Not what I needed. Second action investigate. Three to one. Oh, if I'm not at the location with you, I die. Wait, what location? So it says, only investigators at Hideous Palace may spend the requisite number of clues as a group to advance. Beware, any investigator who is not there will be killed. Oh, if I advance it? That'd be funny. See ya. Finale. Minus one is a success. Not really what I wanted, weirdly enough. But here we go. Do you really spend it here? Spend it? Sure. I think so. Because what I can also do, we only need one location here, is I have two. I can skedaddle over to you and try again if you fail. Yeah. Third action, let's take a look. Why is Arkham crying? Ooh, it's another flight into oblivion. Connect above or take, take to whore and connect to the topmost revealed location and direction of your choice. This is a topmost revealed location, right? Yep. You can put the stairs right there and take to whore. Here comes some horror. Hmm. Direction of my choice. There we go. Thank you. Automatically move there. It has one clue. And I have the two clues necessary to complete the task over there. Anyway. We're about to YOLO this thing then, aren't we? Yeah, because if this hunts, technically this is a valid location, right? 100%. Oh. And it's the one we want it to have. Okay. Yeah. Would you look at that? All right, I'm done. And I've already gone, right? Mm-hmm. That was the thing. Draw your card. Uh, first of all, hunters are going to hunt. I'm trying to get close to you. Here's the mindless dancer up in the cosmic ingress. And draw a card for the turn. Grimm's Fairy Tales, you're not what I need right now. Oh my gosh. Give me something of value, please. Ally. Rabbit's foot. Okay, okay. Give me these test of wills. Garbage. Bad cards? Do mine? Yeah, sure. Fate of all fools. Mm, an absolute classic. You've only ever drawn that in our games. A mindless dancer. Well, now it's getting weirder. Where do you have to spawn it? Farthest away. Technically, either of these two locations count. That one doesn't. Farthest away from all investigators. Oh. Oh, wait, no. Farthest empty space. I guess it's from me. It's got to be here, right? Yep. Got a freaking conga line of mindless dancers. They mindless. Yep. 
Uh, Jim, my three actions were uh, draw a card, grab a clue, spin the clue to get the flight into oblivion. Um, this is bad now. So it's not that bad. We're supposed to have chainsaws and stuff at this point. Here's I what have, I think I do. I've got a black book and like a, a Grimm's fairy tale. I think I move over, play the gun, just in case, and then snipe a clue. These two are literally going to move one up. Mm -hmm. Then the next round, I'm going to go one, two, three, and then you're going to hop here and we're going to advance. That's a good one. Okay. And I'll build so I can get to complain less. Yeah. <laughs> so good. Okay. Uh, let's enter here. I have to discard a card, which is fine. Or take a damage. It's fine. What's it's really a damage? Fine. I mean, you're fully healthy. I'm going to get rid of I have cards. We know this. you got a leather jacket on the way. Uh, then I'm going to play a Mauser C96. Were you Han Solo? Han Solo. Five ammo? Yeah. Is this, does it do two damage? Uh, yeah. Plus two, plus one damage. And if I succeed by two or more, either ready it or gain a resource. If I succeed by four or more, do both. That's such a good gun. <laughs> Five <laughs> shots on that thing? Um, and you can... Give any good copycat books in your deck? You just come from? No, I'm all out. Yeah, None. Wild. No, oh, no skull cards. Mm. Gotta be a skull card. I've got a lot in hand, though. I can dump one in there so that you can get it next turn. Okay. Um, <laughs> let's just... No one likes the next two weeks. Yeah, we'll be streaming five days. Both weeks. Next week, we're going to build Dream Eaters decks on Friday. Yep. And then I think the week after that, we're playing the scenario pack that came out today. The new standalone scenario. Yeah. It, as like a test of our Dream Eater decks. Right. Which will be fun. Which Before, I think is... Yeah. I might play one of the parallel... I might play parallel skids. Because I've always had a thing for skids, and maybe this is a playable version. Really good one. Kaya, want to become famous? I do. You gone. You know, actually, it's not... I, I really don't. So I have an actual... I think I'm just going to move a location. Because... Nope. Are they spin a clue or take a horror when you well, do? Well, the thing is, if I move here, this one technically you're the closest. Mm -hmm. So it would hunt to you. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, so you're if right I stay on. where I'm at, I'm fine. So I'm just going to wait. Um, I'm going to gain a money. It seems like you action. always need cash, yeah. Yeah. All right, so my action. Well, the first one is draw. Second is getting that clue. Yep. And draw? Build. First action is draw. Unless you draw something good. These are not... It's all of the cards you need at the end. Yeah. You ever play card games? I have been. Yeah. I've been there. High value late game, but you draw them early. That's a hard knocks life. Second action, let's take a crack at this Flight into Oblivion clue. It's a three to a two. Courtesy hey, of the yeah, Black Book. Dream Eaters does require two decks, which I'm excited about. That's why next week we're just going to deck build on stream, because it's four decks. It's going to take us a long time. Minus two is a failure, which means I'm going to get an extra action. Third action, a Th three to a one. Theodorus has it right. So with Dream Eaters, you guys are going to get even for not building decks in this campaign. Yes, we are coming with a, a m agenda. This is a bad one, right? Minus four. But what does it do? It puts a doom on the guy or the thing. If your skill value for this is a zero, then yes. Yeah, place one doom on Azzy then, would you? Oh, no. Does that advance the agenda? Not immediately, but it will next turn. We had plans. And we don't remove it, right? That's the thing. Ever. This says do not remove okay. it when it clears. Well, he's not an enemy, is he? I mean, we didn't declare that. He looks enemy. Enemy-ish. Okay, that was bad. I have one action remaining, and I, I, ref I refuse to not get this clue. I'm going to take it again, straight up. Last action, three to a one. I mean, I'm at plus two. Come on, I've been great. Minus two. Clue, clue is mine. You, you achieved it. Achieved clue. End of the round. Hunters. Hey, draw a card. Gain a resource. Oh, what a joke! A mysterious raven. Ka -ka. Actually, that could <laughs> that could be somewhat important. Do <laughs> mine. Let's see what happens. Agenda 1A. Agenda 1B. Rejoice, for the end is near. Somehow, Palpatine is returned. That's actual dialogue, folks. Somehow. <laughs> Somehow. At the conclusion of nine epic movies, 
We don't really know how it happened, but it happened. Somehow. Somehow. You're not the only human here. There are but mindless hus they are but mindless husks. Almost entirely devoid of humanity, nothing but flesh, muscle, and bone. Preserved for eternity in their single minded passion, kneeling and chanting in foul worship. Azathoth, Azathoth, the end has come. Each cult of enemy commits ritual suicide. Discard each cult of Seppuku? enemy in play and move all doom from them to Azathoth. Wow. That was a fortunate. Luckily, we punched both those acolytes. Two doom on Azathoth would be a bad deal right now. The lead investigator must search the account encounter deck and discard pile for a copy of Demonic Piping and draw it. Is that that goat man? Just making sure it's not on the discard pile. Yeah, that's good. Those card game instincts are coming in real handy. Does it, if there's enough pipings, does it eventually draw wow. in the piper? Yeah, look, it was the top three cards of the deck. Ooh, that would have been a nasty draw. Are they uh, a surge? Oh yeah, my gosh, do. it would have immediately summoned the piper. Hmm. I like those arm swings, Bryce. We got you. Yeah. K.H. McClure, mindless dancers to the final form of the Rise of Skywalker Riders. I feel like the community has kind of coalesced around it like the Game of Thrones last season. It was so bad we just stopped talking about it. Well, I think, I think it's now like everybody just agrees that it's bad and we're moving on. Yeah. At least that's the one thing that you can say about Episode Eight. It was bad, but a lot of people wanted to fight that. Zach's one of those people. Yeah. We would like to take a time out from uh, Arkham for about 20 minutes to hear why Episode 8 is actually a great movie. Put your put your uh, vote in the chat. Just kidding. I'll wait patiently. It's not happening. Demonic Pipe, real quick. Surge, revelation, if Piper of Azeroth is in play, deal a whore to each investigator at its location on each connecting location. Otherwise, put it into play next to the agenda deck. If there are three copies of this card in play, discard them, spawn the Piper of Azeroth, engage with this prank. Can you imagine? You would have literally surged, 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 Piper in play. And we it just, surges now. No, it doesn't. Because it wasn't revealed. It wasn't revealed. It said search the deck for it, right? Right? Is that right? It just said search the deck and... Yeah, it said... Does it reveal it? And draw it. Well, that's probably... Do you surge? You probably surge. Jan saying that it definitely Jan surges. seems to know what's up. It surges. Okay. Surge on then. What a weird time to be drawn in counter cards like that. Mysterious Channing. Place two Doom on the nearest cultist. If there are no cultists in me, search the encounter deck and discard pile for a oh, cultist. Oh, here we go. Um, it doesn't really matter. That thing's getting punched. It has to be an empty location. You put it on the cosmos. That's where we're... That's where the punching's gonna be. All right. Let's do it. All right. Let me finish reading this thing. Endless walkways and steps of black stone are the only route which guide you to your destination, as it is, an, it is an impossible maze to navigate. Check the campaign log. If Gilman's journal is listed under mementos discovered... Did we lose them all? Is that the idea? Did, when we, Because it was discovered, but it also was marked out. Then I don't think it's there. If we're, if but we, we did it, discover it. If we had it, you're able to find your way. If we don't... You become hopelessly lost. Each investigator must either move to the location to his or her left or move the placement of his or her, her location once to the left. Place in an empty space in the spot it previously occupied. A location cannot be moved more than once via this effect. So you can either move the stairs to the left or move myself, which I cannot do. We're hosed. And I have to move to the left. Cool. Into that mindless dancer? Mm-hmm. Well, this is good. But the enemy's on. already did their thing, right? He just yeah, engages yeah, and yeah, doesn't yeah, attack. He just yet. engages, yeah, yeah. I then shuffle this back in and then draw a new one from the top. A new what? Uh this this thing. Hmm. Weakness, weakness, weakness. Yeah, but given those moments, what did that do for us when we gave the mementos away? Did that did that help us in any way? Is that way we don't have any cultists in the thing? And then, Agenda 2A, it awaits the boundless demon sultan, <laughs> Azathoth, whose name no lips dare speak aloud, whoops, and who gnaws hungrily in inconceivable unlighted chambers beyond time amidst the muffled, maddening beaten, beating of vile drums and the thin, monotonous whine of accursed flutes. Each location is connected to each location adjacent to it. 
Do not remove Doom from a enemies when this agenda, agenda advances. Is it adjacent uh, cardinal directions, or can we uh, pop into this? Uh, side side Diagonal? Uh, sure. All right, now we need to draw our bad cards. Ultimate Chaos. Hmm. Yeah, we know how that one's going. <clears throat> I mean, I could, I could fa pass it. Well, this is this one's for you. It'd be the second of two that are on there. I'm just gonna deal with it. No, I need. Mm. I mean, you're gonna need the heat for this dancer. Hold me close. Not really. You're just gonna evade it and move, right? Mm-hmm. But we don't have anywhere to move to anymore. It's a problem. This should probably have three on it, right? At some point. Yeah. Um. Hold on. I'm overcome by the feeling we're going to lose. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. I've got a black book out on turn four. What am I supposed to do with that? Got all these cards. I, they're, they're none of them. I can play this raven. It's the cards, you see. It's not the play. Mm. Hold me close. I don't want dance. Uh, I'm just going to fail it. So, four to one. Mm, even it. worse. And you added Doom. And I added Doom. Perfect. Uh, so it attaches. And I take one and one. And, and it surges. Yeah. We didn't take our... We, we, we didn't have... Our brains are not big enough for this. Ancient Evils. Nice. Thanks. A World in Darkness. For each human as a thought, I must lose a resource, choose and discard a card from my hand, take a horror, or take a damage. Well, I'm going to choose and discard two cards, these garbage cards. Mm, good question. Done. Honored. All right. Um, well, you know. All right, now we got to start squirming. Even our even our magic carpet is no longer good. Mm -hmm. Well, it looks like I mean you got to evade this thing first things first, or is it time to start shooting? If I had a gun as well, I'd say we could try to dogpile these things. I don't think that's gonna happen though. How many clues you got? One. One, and it's gonna go right. I think we try to see that first. Okay. You're holding your two? I've been able to Bugatti pretty hard here. So my, yeah, I am currently holding my two. But if you fail, my plan would be evade. Uh, move, move. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to have two clues to spend here to try to go down. Yeah. Because uh, you also don't want to end up here. I don't want to be there. Because he's going to. The answer, yeah. But I will be if I take my turn first. We're hosed either way. Because like if I go and I fail, where then am I going to end up? You just move up into that corner. I'm going to lose. I'm going to take a damage and take a horror. No, I'll discard to prevent that one. Okay. All right, here we go. Clue on. Because you have two directions yours could go, which is pretty good odds. You must either connect to the right or lose two resources. 
What's it called? The absolute pinnacle of what we needed. The dancer is missed. After you move, remove one resource from the scenario reference card, move to a connecting location. Oh, that's optional. Okay, so you can launch yourself right into the cosmos with that thing. It's like the eternal springboard. So that'll save us an action at least. Yeah, that was the first action there. I could just get here. I deal with the punch acolyte. and acolyte. Yeah, for sure. I'm basically gonna evade, move, move, and then he'll be stuck. He'll move one, and then the next round, I'm coming downtown. Well, then I'm just gonna do this now, right? Sure. Is it critical to save an action right now? Let's see. Well, the main thing is, do we First need these for later? We we always we're gonna save. We're gonna die with three resources on that. It's not how you want to play. So let's see, my second action would be move, third action would be Acolyte. And if, you... if I fail, I get a, uh, another shot at yeah. it. Yeah. Should we use it? The resource? Does the extra action, what does the extra action it do? It would get us a Mysterious Raven. Not terrible. Not needed. We don't need that. Second action, move. Acolyte. Let's see what the location says. Oh, this is going to be awful because it's called literally called Hideous Palace. Forced. At the end of the round, add clues to it until it has four clues on it. Each void location gains action. Shuffle this into the cosmos, moving each investigator and enemy that was at this location to Hideous Palace. Wait a minute. That applies to yours. Is it a void location? So you can take an action to shuffle that back into the cosmos deck and then move that and any enemies here. Don't you think it would make more sense to evade, move here, then trigger that action? Yes. And then the enemy's gone. And the enemy is stuck in the corner and we're stuck here. there, yeah. And then next round, first thing we're gonna do is actually the objective we could just do it immediately, but I think we should probably wait. I learned my lesson that one time. You're a waiter. I was so hesitant to do it for like three or four times in a row, and then I finally was like, all right, let's do it. And then it wrecked us. Yeah. Well that's the way Arkham goes, isn't it? Yeah. All right, third action. Punching. Three to a two. I believe. How bad could it go? Well, you get two shots. Just do not get the... the... Do not seek the treasure. Yeah, that, <laughs> that uh, gas mask. <laughs> now, here's, here's something worth knowing. Now, I'm a three to a two. Now, if I put this unexpected courage in, I go up to five. Up five. Still... Head by three. So I'm ahead by three, but most importantly, if I get a minus four, I still have a skill of one, which means I'm not zeroed out for that. And ability. you get the card back, right? And I would get the and card back. And you get to try again. So that, that's a great card. What a card. Unexpected card. Mighty, mighty card. What a card. What a mighty, mighty card. All right, five to two, courtesy of a quick learner. And this is for you, for copycat. Hmm. Great. Nothing but synergy. Synergy. Our, synergy. Decks, our decks are nothing if not synergistic. <laughs> well, they had to be because they gave us mashed potatoes on those deck builds. You know, two buckets of mashed potatoes makes a pretty big helping of mashed potatoes. <laughs> All right. I only have a black book out. It's driving me insane. Yeah, you've really done nothing. This is this not game. how I play no offense. This is not my uh, Gabe Santiago deck in Netrunner. I need assets aside from just Desperado. All right. Mine? Yes. First thing we're going to do is an, uh, evade. That's right. You cannot fail. And I'm ahead by two, so four is the magic number. It's not alert, so like you can fail and be fine. Just keep that in mind. It's not going to like hurt you if you fail, aside from your pride. I, I sure would like to. Fail? Succeed. Okay. That's right. Spanner, what are you seeing here? I kind of feel like unexpected courage is like uh, rain or snow, four and five. It's my first upgrade when we start playing in the next few weeks here at home. I'm with you. For two, it's a great card for two. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna evade. I'm gonna put in these. So I'm an eight to a three. I'm ahead by five. I'm gonna trigger her ability because I put in two cards. And uh, we're gonna see what happens. Hmm. What would you say that counts as in terms of what happens? Uh, my feet got stuck to the floor. Well, just in terms of like, could it have gone any worse, you think? 
I mean, that is the worst token. Technically, but... that's as bad as it gets. It's fine. You'll see why. Uh... <laughs> I'm really filled with confidence. Absolute uh, confidence. I'm going to evade again. We weren't going to advance on next round anyway, so it's fine. That's right. Uh, I'm going to put Copycat and Daredevil. So we're going to trigger that. I'm going to draw a card with her. Um, we'll Daredevil it. Opportunist hits. So what does that add to me? Uh, you get plus three here. Four, five. Okay, I'm at ten to three. Seven. Seven. So I win by four. He'll be evaded. And then... I'll trigger a cigarette case. And then Opportunist goes back in hand, too. That. Yeah. Yeah, granny would be great. Wouldn't that be nice? I mean, anything you could play Wouldn't that be would cool? be great. Uh, then I'm going to move here, and then I have to discard a card, I think. Yeah. Uh, or take a damage. No, I'll discard Got that leather jacket. So then my plan will be next round, first thing is... Does smart money put the mindless dancers in the same place or different places? Because if we ever end up in the same place as two mindless dancers, we're getting tapped out of here. I actually think once we trigger this, this is going to all clear. Would you be willing to put your, your life on that? Not your Arkham the, life? Not how the force works? I don't know. All right, we're done? Um, yeah, I All right. failed, evaded, moved. So this can either hunt here or up to its buddy. I That's what I mean. further away from us. Because we're going to end up down there. This is, But this is the debate I was trying to crack open. If we have to, for whatever reason, end up... If it says, for instance, get rid of all locations, put all enemies and investigators back at the ingress, the well, game is over. But it doesn't... That's going to happen either way, right? You're correct. So, I realized it as I was saying it. Uh, he's going to move. He's going to ready. But there's some reason in there. I know. There's some rationale. Uh, then card and resource? Yeah. Here comes the weakness. Nope. But another test of will. Oh, well, thank goodness. I was really holding out for that one. You know, I'm so glad that Matt put a three-brain test, test card on a three-brain investigator. That's super helpful. Are you being sarcastic? Yes. Okay. Test of Will uh, is like, do mind. if I have five head, it makes a lot of sense, but most of these are going to be four brain tests anyway. Wizard of the Order spawn at any empty location. Retaliate. At the end of the Mythos phase, place a Doom on him. You really think he's going to get swept? I'm going to put him here. Just So keep, he's reachable. Keep him But around. not in our way. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Reachable, but not in our way is the way I like to live. Acolyte. Any empty location. One Doom on We're going to come dunk. Okay. Now, I just want you to know that I'm believing you right now. You should look at my stats. Winner, Winnie. I mean, uh... Into the Mythos phase. So we're currently at advanced next round on the Doom Clock. Yeah, but it's not going to happen. And these guys wouldn't even get removed from. But let's hope that, you know, it just clears everything. If it doesn't, so help me. <clears throat> okay. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and move to you. You down? Yeah. And then let's let's get out of here. So I'm going to go move, move. I'm going to use one of these. Wait, just take this action, right? Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right, that's right. So I'll take an action. Way more efficient. Shuffle this into the cosmos. We'll Ooh, kind of want that pathway out, though, don't you? It's a good one to have back in the deck, though. Hmm. I don't know that it matters. Shuffle this. I come down here. This goes here. Second action, well, before an action, we're just going to use this yeah. palace. Straight up, right? You spend your two clues. clues. Yeah. Okay. No action. Palace of the Old Ones, Act 1B. Your steed carries you through the entryway of the Nightmarish Palace, and you're surprised to find the halls inside to be as vast and cavernous as the empty spaces surrounding it. Are we, wait, are we literally on, like, a, a Cosmos horse? Yeah. Cool. So we came in riding on the steeds. Hmm. It is as though the doorway was but the threshold of another universe, as desolate and boundless as the last. Perhaps unreachable Re by remove the... Remove Cosmic Ingress from the game. Okay, and what happens to the Acolyte on it? Shuffle each location in play other than Hideous Palace into the cosmos. I swear if it says the enemies come to our location, 
Each enemy at those locations is shuffled in the top five cards of the encounter deck. Ooh. So we'll do that in a second. Wait a minute. Is that so this, one this at a time? This gets shuffled in. Wait a minute. This gets shuffled in. So, so those all get shuffled into the top five. But do you like shuffle one into the top five and I then take the new top five and shuffle one into the top five? I think it's literally just... The next four cards? Four out of five cards and the next are going to be enemies? No way. I'm going to do it my way. Uh, each enemy at, the, at those locations is shuffled into the top five cards in the encounter deck. Okay, that makes sense. One, two, three, four, five. Here's the top five cards yeah, in the encounter deck. And shuffle the enemies in. They're getting shuffled in now. Take the set aside court of the great old ones and the top two cards of the cosmos. So we'll need to shuffle this. Court of the great old ones. Ooh, look at that. Cool court. Just a big ring. And shuffle them so you cannot tell which is which. Then put them into play along with the empty space. As depicted in the so I'll grab the chart again real quick. So here's two random locations from the cosmos, and we're going to need to shuffle that court in where we can't tell. And then... Uh, okay, and we've got a court and two cosmos. Tell me where so to put this them. this is back at the start. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's like a new level. It's yep. like playing Diablo. And then this... I'm going to grab card again. Is it the same corners? Nope. Hmm. Getting ahead of myself. So can you shuffle those so we don't know which one's which? Wait, what is it? FAQ says you must shuffle back the empty spaces too. So we'll shuffle all these okay. back and yeah. rebuild it. Yeah. All right, just tell me where. So court? It's technically space, space there. Oh, no, you shuffle that with those and we can't tell which is which. Because oh. we got to find it again. Just looked at those. So it's space, space here. So we need to move the map down a little bit. And then, yeah, we're gonna, I'll we have an extra, that. an extra row, basically, two extra rows. Yeah, kind of. So it's literally here, here, and here. Here, here. Can you guys see that? Yeah. I'll begin the tidying process. Okay, one there, one there, one there, one there. One here. Wow, just made it. Here. In player order, each investigator draws the top card of the encounter deck. Why are they doing this? This isn't nice. The end is nigh. Test one brain. This test gets plus X difficulty, where X is the current agenda number. Two. So it's plus two. It's a three test. If there's no agenda in play, X is four. If you fail, you move each doom on each cultist enemy in play to him, or place a doom on him if there are no cultist enemies in play. Well, hey, I'll test a will that. Take a three brain test against a three brain test. Now, that said, I can try to cancel it for you by taking essentially the three test. I've got a pretty good. Okay. So I'm going to add four. But do you. So I'm at five. I'll trigger to draw a card. Okay. So I'm at five to three. I'm ahead by two. Mm. Feel pretty okay about that. Yeah. We got to start paying attention yet. No, it's half of uh, half of the doom on Azathoth rounded up. So half is one, rounded up is one. So minimum is two. Okay. So I Plus succeed. Two. Yeah, succeed by two. And, right. Uh, no, I, I was at five to its three. So minus two is three to three. Okay. So, so no, no cigarette case. Yeah. That's free. Is it going to be an enemy? That's fine. We're together. Acolyte. Any empty location. Where do you want to go? Probably the closest one. Uh, then we go to Act 2A, in Azazoth's domain. Your bones shiver violently with the silent, still cold of its, this empty pallet, place. No light penetrates these black halls. No warmth reaches you, no breeze touches your skin. This must be what death feels like, you think morbidly. Spend X clues, draw the top X cards of the cosmos, choose one to put into play. Objective, only investigators at court of the great old ones may spend the requisite number of clues as a group to advance. Beware, any investigator who is not there will be killed. Two per player. I'm going to get some water. This is going to get so hard. We just don't have very... You, luckily, you got those lock picks. That's helpful. I need Granny. I may have to draw for it. You've got two actions left, too, so... Yeah. Hmm. This needs to be the court. 
I think that's right. Guys, I need a better deck. Somebody call up Matt or whoever's in charge of these investigator starters. Why you give me an investigator that can't uh, that can't build into something meaningful? Why are you doing that? I need to be able to get clues. I've got a two book. I gotta play six six credits and stuff just to get get to an average number. I don't think that we're going to win. What are the odds? So maybe, uh, what do you what do you think are the odds right now? I'd put us at twenty two percent to win this scenario. Now, this is the beautiful thing about Arkham. If we get some clues, and this location fills in. We can come over here. This is the court. We kill the Acolyte. Now we're in business. Now we're in business. Oh, Nicholas on a 50%. Well, that's very handy. That's very, that's very nice of you to say. 50% is pretty good. I need Granny. She's my crutch. Maybe I play the Raven, grab a clue, take a horror. Man, I'm already getting some horror here, aren't I? 15% uh, Big Kahuna. I think that's more appropriate. Yeah, I, I agree. If this isn't in the court, I think, I think we're done for. I could show you guys. Then you would know. Secret knowledge. Hmm. Or maybe Granny is just right here. Does that feel like Granny? Top card? Roll the dice? Most people have us about 15 30 percent. Okay. I feel like it, it would be really helpful if the location we're looking for is right there. Wouldn't that be nice? And we like if this one pops and we get there. We gotta get those clues first. All right. That's um, your thing. That's your thing. We haven't used any of the fancy tokens. Let's keep that in mind too. Where is that? Oh, okay, I see. Okay. Okay. Two actions left. Two actions. I may as well lock picks. Start there. You want to lock picks and just Bugatti a Cosmos? If it's right, then. I can at least get over here and try to kill that Acolyte, because if we don't, it's things going. That's a lock, lock picks first. I'm at eight. I'm going to head by five. Those are big numbers. Those are the kind of numbers you need to succeed here. He I'll says, just let five right. roll, because I should succeed. I mean, there's a way to fail, of course. Alex. Yeah, well, you should, you know. Should. Oof. How about we win by six? That's a good cigarette case. That Man, is. that is a busted big I'm, I'm just smoking some cigarettes and through space. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! On my cosmic uh, steed. Let's get a clue, a cigarette case, and look at top six. Wow, you're almost out there, aren't you? Because they're all on the table. Oh. Man, after enough cigarette cases, you're going to draw into like three. What do you got? The best card in my deck for this moment. After you succeed, something happens? How about a pilfer? pilfer? Oh my goodness, from downtown. The downtown pilfer. So I'm gonna use one to try to get a location, but then in or I could pilfer now, and clear this, and then the four will come back. But I, I feel like you're kind of the clue man. You're, well, you're kind of the everything man. So I can discover three clues in a single action. Guaranteed. Yeah, I mean, unless I get the you know what. I do. But I feel like if I can provide you... Are we just going to let the agenda advance? That's what I'm saying. If I can give you the pathway with a one, next round I move back to this location and get three clues anyway, and then yeah. try to get the bridge anyway. Yeah. I, I feel like I may as well take the shot, I guess is the point. Yeah. Yeah. Let's try it. When you're behind, do you got to... shuffle this? Did we shuffle this? I don't know. I'll shuffle it again. 
When you're behind, you gotta take the shots. Although that is true, we know there's a bunch of enemies on the top of the deck. Oh, that's true. So if I'm gonna pilfer... It's probably the time. I, I totally agree with that, actually. Because you I'm might be able to get down. a clue and, and get it. So, okay. Yeah, yeah. God willing. I'm gonna pilfer for four. I actually have the money, too. That was what was bizarre. Though. Yeah, you spent some turns gaining them. So it uses foot instead of book. So I'm a five to a three. And then... My gosh, we didn't draw either of those. No, we did. We drew one of the enemies. That's right. I'm gonna make it a 10, 11 to a three. I'm gonna trigger to draw a card. Um, You're drawing so many cards. I have by eight. I'm so happy for you. Brand, now, wait a minute before you take this test. Don't look at it. Okay. If you do this, I can do nothing. Because I, I, have, I will have no clues. I can't go Cosmos can't, around. Can't you try to get a clue? They won't be any. Oh. <laughs> now, that's not terrible. We just have to be okay with it advancing. I might just draw, draw, draw. Draw, draw, Brian. I think getting the clues is fine. Let's get cards. Let's get the clues. Yeah. Uh, so I got a minus three, so I succeeded. I get all three of these. Um, and then I have one back because I didn't actually spend it. And then opportunity comes back to my hand. Okay. And then it is your. My first turn. action is draw. Weakness. Get rid of it. What a turn. What a way to go out, too. This, this campaign you end in just doing nothing. <laughs> you have one card in play. The wheels have come off of the car, Zach. <laughs> I'm, I'm literally... It's metal on road at this point. <laughs> There's no sparks flying. Yeah, I'm getting rid of it. I can't take horror. I'm going to fail a bunch of tests. I mean, yeah. we know what's happening. Yeah. And there's about to be an enemy. Ah. Yeah. All right. So you flip. Uh-huh. When I flip, you flip, we flip. Enemy's enemy. There's nothing happens. Draw a card. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, oops. Great. Thanks. And then... I hope my uh, frustration is as enjoyable for everyone else as it is Doom on. So Doom's going to clear. We're going to advance. Ready? Mm -hmm. Nine hungrily. Oops. Agenda 2B. Each cultist enemy commits ritual suicide. Discard each cultist enemy in play and move all doom from it to Azazoth. Oh, not as good. The lead investigator must search the encounter deck and discard pile for a copy of Demonic Piping and draw it. Retro Daniel, I didn't include oops. This deck included oops. And believe it or not, it was not the weakest card to replace. Isn't that crazy? Can I you draw Demonic Piping. Can you imagine? Check the campaign log. You're going to surge it now, right? Yeah. But I'm just preparing you. I guess I got to read the flavor. We don't have the mementos. Fate of all fools. Don't tell me what to do. Hmm. Uh, take two damage. In this oblivion, outside time, nothing is as it should be. Right. The mist dances and turns around you. Laughter mocks you from beyond. And out from the darker nebulae, nebulae emerges a familiar wraith. A being which should be long dead. Check the campaign log. If worn crucifix is listed under mementos discovered, it's not. Otherwise, the wraith attacks you. Each investigator must test four brains. Each investigator fails, takes one damage and one horror. Well, I'm taking one and one. You ever feel that way? Four brain? Mm-hmm. Uh, retro cards that are worse. Scrapper? Uh, definitely worse. It's got two fists. That's the only reason I have it. I take one and one. I think that Scrapper is the only card that I cut out of the starter. I think I just upgraded everything. You don't play either card anyway. Oops, could get played. I can see it get played once. Hey, a zero. I succeeded. Nailed it. Agenda 3A, the final countdown. It's the final, final countdown. countdown. That leering, tittering, shin tank. <laughs> Go on. Shin tank. 
locked intact, coursed on impetuous and relentless, flapping its great slippery wings in what? malignant joy, and headed for those unhallowed pits where their no dreams reach. Each location is connected to each location adjacent to our removed infinite enemies. Eight. Eight's the magical number. What is happening? And then we lose. Uh, what is happening? We have five turns. You better get it right. Bad cards. It's taking everything from me. Demonic pipe in. Oh no. Hey, hold on. What happens if I pass that? Well, it's, there's not a test. If there are three copies of it... Uh... Wait, can I cancel that? Yeah. It's time for test of will. It is time to cancel. All right. Test of will says, play when an investigator at my location draws a non-weakness treachery card. That is true, right? Yep. If I succeed, I will cancel the revelation effect. It will still surge. If you succeed at what? The test. It's okay. a three brain. Succeed. <laughs> succeed. Succeed. Um. Well, this is the hard part. Wait, I'm at your location. Yeah. You got any brain cards? Big brain time. I have a wild. I have one wild. Is that what you just said? Can Daredevil work here? What's it say? After you commit Daredevil to a skill test, discard cards on the top of your deck until you discard a rogue skill. You can commit to this test, commit it, shuffle each weakness back in. Yes, you could do that. I don't think I have any. I don't think there's any in the deck, is there? It's mm. only weaknesses in there, is there? So I'm just going to give you a wild. I'm yeah. A wild for you. I, I might just plug uh, this other test of will into it for a plus one. I'm currently one ahead. So this would be two ahead for you. We, we said it's worthless to go three ahead yeah, because it's just one more. It. Okay. We gotta we gotta play the odds. Okay, I'm gonna put them right in front of me. I'm at plus two. Here we go. How about the Azathoth? We did it. It's a minus two. We trusted the odds and we trusted ourselves. Still surge it though. Wizard of the Order. Oh, wait. That was expected. Any empty location. Second verse, same as the first. There he is. Your bad card. Terror in the Night. How many we got over there? One? One. Yeah, that's fine. I'm just going to take it. All natural. Four to four. I've got Granny, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just when I think you can't possibly redeem yourself, so, <laughs> you go and do something like that. So I can just succeed. I like that. Getting one of them in the discard pile is important. Yeah, it's very true. Better than healing. That was great. We just dunked on Azathoth. Okay, our turn? Yeah, this guy gets a Doom. All right, here's the thing. How about these Undone Doom? They really do fit the mood, they? Don't really they really do. Pretty witchy. Um, I can spend four clues to look at four. Do we... We shuffle if we fail, right? Mm. So is it better to look at four? Well, what do we do once we get there? We gotta have four clues, you know? Well, that's a different problem. <laughs> Yet connected. <laughs> I assume there'll be clues. I can get one clue. I think I take a four test first and see what happens. You're going to do four? That is so many clues. Two? Two twice versus four. Which one's better? Because if you hit two the first time... And I have two left, it's way better for us. Yeah, it's way better. I basically want to spend the number of clues that's like 90% chance to get what we want. And I still have clues left, which is probably three. Or I could take two two shots out Two twos is pretty good, because like, you know... Two. Because if you hold on to two, I think it's going to be a lot easier to find two along the way than three even. Because like a lot of them are ones. And, and... Let me take a two test. Let's take a two test. Let's go. Ready? Yeah. What's the first one? Connect where? Above. Or? It's the stairs. Uh, right. Flight into oblivion. Or take the horror and connect to the topmost... Reveal location in a direction of your choice. 
This one. Ha -ha. Top most revealed location is this. This is the only revealed location. Okay. Therefore, logically, it must be the Literally top Literally two. Ergo. I think I take it. Yes, you take it right to the right there. So two horror. Oh, man, you're, you're going brainy as well. And then... I'm going gonna... to survive this, but... Flight of Oblivion. I shuffle this back in. And there you go. And then I move to it. And it's a one. One shroud. And that was my first action. I think I move and I take care of that wizard. Can you take care of the wizard? No problem. Oh, Two damage. The Mazer, right the Mazer. Pop. Pop. Kapang. Kapow. So I can get a clue. Move. Get a clue. The next turn, join you. Let's go. Let's move here. And then I'm going to draw and play Granny. Into the cosmos. Dancers missed. Not what we wanted. Oh, right. We, uh, it was all actually about that being the thing we needed. We can spend one of our resources to move from it, though. Where? Any direction. Move to a connecting location. But it, now we know, which is good. Because now we're going to want to move here. And you can actually pick this up, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah, we can ride the ride it right up to the <laughs> cosmos. <laughs> take the stairs to the top. But then you can't get there. So we have to be there at the same time. Yeah, but like I can dunk this guy. You can clue, get here, clue, or clue, clue, move, whatever you want to do. Yeah, get a couple then of clues, and then over. we go in there, and mm -hmm. we we ride the stairs up. Okay. Mm. This is kind of cool. I'm going to... I feel like I'm playing that game. Did you ever play Aladdin? The video game? Yeah. 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 I got stuck, though. There's you remember the level. Cave of Wonders? Yeah. You know, where you're like, there's all these weird secrets in the rocks, and you have to jump on the rocks and stuff? I sure do. That's what it feels like to me. I'm Maybe it was Azathoth all along. Perhaps it was. That'd be funny to redo Disney movies with like Cthulhu elements. Anyways, funny. Uh, use my bullets. I'm at plus two, so I'm a five to a four. I'm ahead by one. We know that's four not where it is now. What kind of skill card you got? You know, profile? hold on. Dean's got a great idea here. After you move here, you pick up the wizard. Then you can remove one from the scenario card. Here to move immediately back to flight. And then I could go clue. Couldn't I do that action after I defeat him anyway? It's a immediately, it's a reaction to you moving into it. Oh. So you have to do it now or never. Would I still engage? Yes. That's what I want. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. One down. We're spinning our ammo. Now or never, right? Uh, so I'm still shooting. I'm ahead by one. What kind of skill cards you got in your discard pile? Nothing but. None. You can have this weakness. You keep putting them on the bottom of my deck. Can't keep up with that. I'll take enough tests. Let's commit two. So I'm ahead by three. I draw a card. And then I'll trigger Daredevil. Which one happens first? Um, you would trigger this, and then you would draw the card. Okay. So, skill card that I can commit. Do you know that there is one? No. Nope. We would assume you would, though. I Because you're a professional one. player. Yeah. Mm hmm So it fails. So you shuffle everything back in? So it discards, and what happens when I run out of deck? Do you discard all those? They don't shuffle back in? Shuffle each weakness that was discarded back into the deck. There's none. Okay. They out here. Cool. Uh, you take a horror and reshuffle. I'm like, where are our allies? Why are we all by ourselves up here? Well, that's kind of obvious, isn't it? You mean Lonnie didn't want to come along to Space Horse Theater? All right, I'm ahead by three. Um, the Northern Lights have got a great point here. That wizard did not know what hit it just now. <laughs> Yoink. <clears throat> Down by one. Nothing. Nothing to do about that. So I fail. I do not punch him successfully. But that's okay. I can take a damage. That's retaliate. You can take one right now. Oh, sweet. You're going to take one again. Sure am. We're so done, man. Riding on the, the edge here. Well, let's at least go see if our funny staircase will get us somewhere. First action, I'm going to play a Mysterious Raven. Caca. 
Second action. I'm going to attempt the test. Minus one. It's failure, it's fine. Extra action. Third action. I can do the the smart thing or the guaranteed thing. I'm gonna do the guaranteed thing. I'm gonna take a fast action. Dunk the raven. Take a sanity. Third action to move. Last action. Zero trout, because I'm a quick learner. Can't fail. Can't fail. Too big to fail. Too big to fail. Wait. Two shroud. One shroud. Can't fail. To my three. Unlikely, but can't fail. Unlikely. But if you had granny... Very unlikely. There's two grannies in the deck. Needed that fist pump myself. That one was for Steven. We got the clues. We got the stairs. All right, enemy is enemy, so I take a damage? Yeah. Then the good stuff? <laughs> if you can call it that. Then Doom? Doom on. Then bad card. Bad cards. Ultimate Chaos. I cannot fail. What does it say? If you fail, attach it to Azazel. If you fail, which he would have all three. All right, it's test of will, baby. Does it say cannot be canceled? The card can't be canceled yet. Is that what this would do? I think that's what that does. It says cancel the card's revelation effect. I assume that's the same thing. Wait, did we just... Hold on. Somebody somebody tell us this. Can, can you cancel the effects of this card with Test of Will? Can you cancel the effects with Rain or Snow? Because if I happen to have that in my hand, and we happen to be in the same place then we could cancel the effects. So I don't think you can test a will it, but I do think you can rain or snow it. The old cosmic mail delivery? Connor's saying you can cancel the revelation effect, but you can't cancel the win three or attached effect. Oh. Wait a minute. Yeah, but the revelation effect is what attaches it. This can't be canceled, obviously. It says can't be canceled. Seems to refer to canceling a revelation is canceling a card. The revelation effect says can't be canceled. There's a can't be canceled on revelation, correct? So another rain or snow says if the skill test fails, cancel all effects of the failed test. But you can't cancel all effects if this can't be canceled. Am I wrong? I have no idea. There's no way to cancel this, right? That's the idea. You just can't. You've got to deal with it. There's nothing in the game that can cancel it. I can give you a plus three. That's going to help be helpful. I hope it's more helpful than not. Do you have any skill cards in your discard that I can use? And I can't test of will it. I don't think so. There's anyone that's... Because I'm not canceling it. I'm... Spanish saying you didn't cancel the revelation, though. I canceled the effects of the revelation? That's what... It's like canceling it would be making me not have to take the test. Right. Okay. Let's give you rain or snow. And then if you do fail, we'll have to actually figure out how it works. Because it's four to four. I think I have to go in on this. I'll let the Arkham, uh, Arkham chat figure it out in the meantime. All right. I'm just going to add two. Will rain or snow cancel ability. this? The first part can be canceled? I <laughs> Let's just pass the test. Just pass the test. Pass the test. Completely passed. To get your opportunists back? I didn't have opportunists. Oh, my God. All right. Uh, your bad card. Hey, we didn't lose right there, though. Fate of all fools. Hmm. Hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Go ahead and go. Go ahead. Well, well, you, you can murder me. <laughs> Aha, I'm going to ride the staircase to success. Staircase to victory. All right. Um, Let's take that staircase. I think you go up. first because I have an enemy. So yeah. if we take the staircase up and it is location, I can evade and move in and we can okay. see at least what the uh, end I, of the turn looks like. Did I? Yes, I did. First action. Spend a resource off of our money card and move the stairs up. Jordan Hightower, those Doom tokens are so cool. Appreciate that. Second action. It's the court. What's it say? Six clues, four shroud. Each void uh, location you can uh, shuffle in and, mm -hmm. and go here. So, oh, here we go. Okay. Third action, I'm going to attempt to investigate. Jordan, those are just circle tokens. Those aren't holiday. You can find them on the site. Go ahead. The wizard does have two doom now. This wizard's got to go. Can you kill the wizard? Yeah, I mean, I, I can try. I'll be ahead by two. Okay. Third action, I'm going to attempt to investigate with take heart. If I fail, I will gain two money and draw two cards. It's four to three. Chances are, are high. I failed. But I get a fourth action now, and I get two cards, two money. <gasps> Here comes Granny. <laughs> Here <Boom>. comes Granny. <laughs> now we're in business, ladies and gentlemen. Now we're in business. All right, mine. Kill. Now, if you fail, you lose. No, I take one. Then I have to evade it and move. Okay. Here's what I'll tell you. Here, here are some options you have. <clears throat> if you move to me, you take one damage. But then I can give you plus two to the test. Or you can try to succeed twice. Are both tests plus two? Only the first one. I think you got to move. Does this even... This not even an action, so, so this would not be an opportunity attack. It, it, <laughs> it might be, because we might clear the board again. So there if I go. move, take a damage, we clear the board... I, we don't have to waste time on the attack. That's right. <laughs> Big brain time. Moving here. Taking a damage. Look at that. You're going to die. <laughs> I'm down to one and one. It's the winny way, baby. <laughs> if you have more than one health or sanity left at the end of an Arkham scenario, you didn't. You weren't efficient. That's right. That's like having more than zero credits at the end of a net right <laughs> um, Then we'll do this. Cash in four. Here we go. Two and two. We're playing the game now, baby. Nucleus of the Universe, Act 2B. The winged creature lands on a winding walkway of black stone, extending into a ceaseless horizon of pitched void. It takes some prodding and encouragement before your steed continues onward. Even the most dreadful of beasts are terrified of this place, it seems. Yet still, you can hear the mindless chanting of those who dwell, closest to the demon sultan, the maddening whining of the pipers, the mo monotonous drum beats which thrum endlessly in your mind. Remove hideous palace from the game. Done. This one. Uh, shuffle each location in, the, in play other than Court of the Old Gods into the Cosmos. Each investigator at those locations is left behind and killed. Each enemy at those locations is shuffled in the top five cards of the encounter deck. But only the ones that get removed, right? Only the locations shuffle removed. each location in play other than Court of the Old Gods into play. Each investigator at those locations is left behind. Each enemy at those locations is shuffled. Not the one at the current location. Not the one at the current location. Our Take plan the set aside, the Black Throne. You know what you could do is you could ev you could have evaded. Yeah, I probably should have. And then left him because that's our actual plan. Because then it actually would get swept up. We were just not thinking. Like if you evade, move, cash in the clues, then we know that he's going to get swept away. What's your evade test look like? It's two versus that's... five to start. Yeah, I'm ahead by three. I commit two cards. Draw a card. Let's I'm do ahead that. by five. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna call it. Yeah. It's too it's too important for us to not be. I'm ahead by here. five. 
There you go. Minus Easy. two. So I'm ahead by three. So then um, he gets swept away. He gets swept away, and I cigarette cased. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that's the way you play. One, two, three, four, five. And I have one action left on my turn. Yeah. That's so much better. I don't even feel yeah. bad about it. Each investigator look at this one. Take the set aside Black Throne, the top three cards of the Cosmos. So, uh, oh yeah, and you get to heal. Yeah, that was so much better. Yeah. What were we thinking? Uh, so you shuffle those just... in to. You have right. the Black Throne. Um, I shuffled the okay. the guy back in. Don't don't shuffle the Black Throne in yet. Black Throne is here. Wait, Black Throne. I haven't done any of that. All right, so this is going to be our new location. Always. These are the old Cosmoses. Then you shuffle all the Cosmos, and then you're going to take. The black throne plus the top three from the cosmos and shuffle them. Okay. Hold then on. we're going to put them into play according to the chart. Yeah. You shuffle these guys back in, reset the board basically. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's what I was saying. The weaknesses were buried. Andy. Okay, I'm going to shuffle these. Then I'm going to take the black throne and shuffle them in the top three, and we're going to have three, and we're going to find ourselves right into the end of the game. Could be the top three of those, for what it's worth. Okay. It becomes one of the top three, or, or there's four Three total. plus the black throne, shuffle them up. And then we'll get our new location chart. All right, space steed. Godspeed. All Look right. to the east. Start. I think I'd be better at shuffling. I've done this probably one billion times in my life. It's hard to shuffle four cards. Give it is a, break, a tiny right? set of cards. Right. All right. Is Let it... me know when you're ready. I'm not ready. Okay. One here. Would you like to cut? No, you're good. One here. One here. Hold on. No. Oh, wow, you were really in here. space here. One here. One here. The final table is set. And the second verse same as the first situation? Yeah. So basically, this has six clues. It keeps refilling. Um, we both go there. We have to spend clues to reveal Cosmos. So we'll shuffle these back up. And we're trying to get two locations. And I have one action left. And we're at four of eight doom. Five of eight doom, courtesy of Fate of All Fools. We have three turns. So two turns after, uh, after your last action remains. Total of 12 actions. How do we do it? We have to just make the right call. And somehow get a bajillion clues. How many clues do we need? Where's the act? Oh. <laughs> do we need to do more dumb stuff like right. drawing counter cards? And play, play order, each investigator draws a top card in counter deck. Ancient evils. <laughs> oh, no. It's a whole turn gone. <laughs> did you get ancient evils? No. But if I did, I would have loved it, actually. Uh, Wizard of the Order. So it looks like we officially have one turn left, my friend. Um, this looks like some place we'll never be, right? But if we can get to the place he's at, we can deal with him. There is there is no dealing to be done. So like, we're you're going to take one action, then it's going to go to seven. Anything that happens after that is immaterial. We have one turn then to get to him. Yeah. Then that buys us a whole extra turn. No, I don't think so, because. We'll have three, four, five, six. So just assume this guy's not there. That'll go to seven after your action. You got it. I then we got one turn it. and it doesn't matter, right? All right. Act 3A, what must be done? You are close now. You can feel the churning and twisting of aeons and the emptiness around. Here is in, in the nucleus of all things, the very center of chaos itself. Your objective and your ultimate fate lie at hand. Uh, Same song. Uh, hold on. Verse. I'm going to try to test of will. Chat's got it correct. I could test of will... The ancient evils. You should do that. Which I should do. Because that could buy us a turn. That's right. 
And then the wizard might actually matter. Yeah. So which do you think is the best Cosmos location? I'll let you decide where to put that wizard. I'm currently a three brain, four brain, five brain to a three. So I think I'm going to go here primarily for this reason. We've seen the staircases hit a lot. Mm -hmm. So if we reveal a staircase, I know that we can get there very quickly. Okay. I'm in. Five to three. I'm two ahead with Granny. I got nothing else to add. Looks like May God have mercy on our souls. Looks like it's Arkham or it's Arkham. I think there was a part of me that knew that that was going to happen. Fail by two. All right, we got one trying to get it done after this. In the bag. And Granny can't fix this by two, right? No, she cannot. And she, her brain boost doesn't help you? You would love it. No, I already have it. Yeah, it's five, five to three. It's five to three. It's five to three. All right, one action left. I think I know what I must do. Now we can now make a different choice with the wizard if you'd like. Because yeah, it doesn't matter. At this point, we want him kind of. That's still a location way. that has to be it, or we have to get it. very lucky. Yeah. Now we haven't seen. You have to imagine there's also the cosmic basement. Basement, <laughs> or right? Slide. <laughs> so it 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 all depends on what lands here. So just put him out of the way. Yeah, right. we'll see what happens here. All right, I think what I have to do to give us a shot is gain money. Okay. Wow, did not expect that. End of the round. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Mythos face still hasn't happened, so that doesn't matter. Oh, look. Called by the miss. Well, that's exactly... You know, you know, Zach, I was thinking to myself, of all the cards in this deck that could really help me out in the last turn of Arkham, this weakness is the key. What's it give you? Uh, any uh, test uh, of four or higher is going to be one damage. All right. Do on. More right specifically, cards. it's just not very helpful. I found. Terror in the night. <clears throat> Four brain. I'm going to fail it. And then what? Do we die? No, nothing's happening yet. There's only one out. It okay. Is yeah, that's fine. Luckily, I passed that one. Failed. Time. Yeah, Big Kahuna, that one's for you. Mindless dancer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little overdramatic in my, uh, in my reactions. Mindless dancer. Just because I think it's probably more entertaining. Go on there. Yeah, it's not going to do anything. Here's your back card. I don't really feel a lot of the things that... Now, Zach, if if you could... Similar to Called by the Mist, if you could... If you could write the best encounter card for this moment... What do you ancient think Evils. It, it's Ancient Evils. Oh, no! <laughs> game over. over! Here's what I want to know. <laughs> what a way to go! That was not the answer. Oh my gosh. We put the wizard there. We knew. The black throne. The wizard has assumed the throne. Well, let's see what happens. What does it say? What's the, what do you, you read the back of the agenda, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so funny. As the thought stirs, agenda 3B. Each cultist enemy commits ritual suicide. Discard. We might not be over yet. Discard. Each cultist enemy in play and move all doom from it to Azazel. It actually doesn't have a doom because the mythos phase never ended. The lead investigator must search the encounter deck in his pile for a copy of Demonic Piping. Oh. And draw it. So the Piper's in. Let's just take our anger out on this stupid Piper. There's no longer an agenda deck, but the scenario is not over. No. Oh. Until the end of the scenario, doom that would be placed on the current agenda is instead placed on Azazel. And all doom in play is considered to be on Azazel. Ooh. Is that it? You come across another circle of Azoth worshippers led by a hooded, shapeless form which holds an ancient lantern high above its head. The lantern dim grace scarcely pierces the realm's darkness. Somehow the phantom is familiar to you. Some vague sense of kinship drives you onward. Check the campaign log. Yes. If Cornhusk Doll is listed under Mementos... Oh discovery... my gosh, are you kidding me? <laughs> Otherwise, the creature barely notices you and the circle resumes chanting. There's so many great things that could be happening here, and we gave up those stupid mementos. All right, so we get the demonic piping. It It's triggering, because there's three of them out. Um, now you got to surge it, too. Discard them and spawn it. Engage with its prey. Least remaining sanity. Me, one. 
Okay. So I have a piper. I'm engaged. Put that in your piper and spend it. two victory, though. It's surge. Mm -hmm. Mindless dancer. And then... Put it uh, where? Over it here? It doesn't matter. Oh, we have to re... re uh, we have to re... Randomize these guys. Oh, so. yeah, yeah. Technically, though, he, that guy's gone, right? Yeah, he's gone. And we decided what? They're there, 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 and there? Yeah. Um, okay. Then your bad card. <laughs> no, that was your bad card, Ancient Eagles. Yeah. That's the end of the round. And then, wait, what happened with the Piper? Why did bond. The... I have him right here. But why did you get that demonic piping? What was that about? That was the um, resolution of the, the agenda. resolution. Yeah. And and nobody, we don't take more encounter cards like normal or anything. I drew the surge card. Usually it says get a demonic piping, and then each player draws a card. Did it say that? Oh, it does have to be the farthest. Those are equal spaces away. Yeah, but this isn't empty. It's gonna be the farthest uh, empty. Yeah. Is nothing there? Mm -mm. Okay. All right. So we get the demonic piping. It surges. You take the that gives you two a couple it's this of this one that made us take cards. Enemies, right on the act deck. Well, that piper is getting evaded. Mm -hmm. I think first things first. Let's just be honest about that with ourselves. I think it's evade. I'm gonna get clues and I'm gonna move locations. Get pilfer. Yeah, that's oh why I gain the money. How many clues do we need to get out of here? We don't need any. We just need to get there. Well, it has to be empty. Oh, we've got to drain it. Oh well, that's gonna be awesome. These mindless dancers are gonna crush us. Get the clues. Get a location. Cool. And I'm just going to be called by the mist until I die, basically, because I'm not. I don't have time for that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't have any time. All right. Well, let's... are we still going for the top? I think so. We'll see what location we get. Yeah, I guess that's true. Uh, I'm going to evade here. Can't fail. Let's commit two. Draw a card. I could take it and evade it as my action. Think about that. Engage. I could like. You could do stuff first. I could probably draw. Ooh, yeah. I could play the key ring. Engage. Evade. If I fail, try to evade again. I like that. I've got a four to its two. I'm two up. I've got then, granny. Then that lets me pilfer and do some things. All right. So first action, we're gonna play an old key ring. Second action will engage. Third action. Put that down here so we don't forget to spend it. Third action, let's evade. Called by the mist doesn't trigger, that's good. Minus three. Granny coming in hot. Plus one. It happened. And then last action does not matter because I oh, did not fail the test. Well. Done. Okay. Thank you, Granny. What a clutch Granny. All right, we're going to pilfer. You got anything to add to the test? Plus one if you absolutely need it. I'm ahead by four. That's fine. I draw a card. It's beautiful. It won't fail. Win by two. Beautiful. Get three clues. Um, win by two. Cigarette case. Mm -hmm. That could matter. Um, second action. Let's spend two clues. Is it a two-one situation ultimately? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It is. Uh, we'll go to the top for you. This back in the bag, would you? There you go. Thank you, David Anderson. Tension is horrible. I hope it lasts. <laughs> That's what we're here for. You look like you're going insane. 
Connor O'Neill, this is comment of the year for this. Oh my gosh, that's incredibly good. Uh, comment, you gotta wait. You have to take horror. Yeah, you would have to, or you gotta connect it above. You can't take too horror, right? Mm, mm, I, I I can't do this by myself. Let me think about this for a second. Connor's saying the fact that this game is fun at all is miraculous. <laughs> Made me wheeze. Oh, I didn't need a granny. That was my third test. I had minus one difficulty. But I liked the idea of it. Just in case. Well, technically, hold on. They're both going to Bugatti their way here, ultimately. Depending or, on where you are, I guess. Or here. If I'm here, they can get to me. Yeah. Not ideal. Yeah. If you're there, now we can get to you. Yeah, which is also not ideal. You can always move back, right? I think I have to. Yeah. So in that case... Or you just evade him next turn. No, wait. You, you would die. Never mind. In that case, I'm going to... This is the one we need. I'm going to put Dancer Dancer's Mist here. Ooh, and then immediately move back? And then I'll... Just move back with a standard move. I'm gonna yeah. save that. Yeah. Um, so basically, next round, because they'll both they can both move here. Mm -hmm. If we go here, they can move up to this and stop. That's right. You gotta be smarter than the ancient dead gods. That's right. Hold me to da da All right. Uh, end of round. Oh, don't sleep on the fact that old pipes is gonna be back. We have to evade again. Yeah. Um, end of the round. Card, money. Doesn't the enemies do that? That's right. Hunters. And then he readies. Who's who's most likely to succeed here? Uh, we'll get a card and a resource to find out. Before. Yeah, we do all the good stuff and then all the etc. stuff. Well, no, we would have to uh, decide where it connects. Um, you're the only one with a clue. You're the only one who can... Then let me just, I can mess with this guy forever. Okay. I'll be on Piper duty. Let me do something useful. Uh, then Doom, does it just not happen or does it go on? Ahead? It goes on Azzy. So he's getting worse, I get it. Yeah. Uh, then bad cards? Force effect on the Piper. When the... We have a problem. What? He has to engage me? No, it's, it's quite a bit worse than that. Um... When the enemy phase ends, Piper of Azathoth attacks each investigator it is not engaged with at its location, regardless of whether it is ready or exhausted. Like the bagpipes. There's no way out of this. Well, it just, I go insane. Mm -hmm. Then you take two. Mm -hmm. And then you uh, slowly meet your demise. All right, well, let's watch it happen, shall we? Let me think. Is there anything else I could have done? Devastating. Devastating. We don't even get to play the game. Piper breaks all the rules. There, if I knew that was going to happen, yeah. then I think what I do instead... But doesn't a dancer come to you no matter what? Well, check this out. I think instead of the... You do the stairs? I do the stairs, and I take... The two, I go insane. I'm insane. They still move here. You're going to take the two, but you at least have the stairs to take a chance. Yeah, that's run. fair. That's fair. You still got the Bugatti move. Yeah, so I take two from the Piper. It stands up. And with that, Winnie Good has luck. exited the game. Yeah, just rode the horse right off into the stars. Right into oblivion itself. Okay, so if you would please give me an encounter card. Don't worry, I was built for this. A mindless dancer. Keep the factory churning, ladies and gentlemen. We've got ourselves some beautiful music to finish the, the campaign. The Piper and three mindless dancers, that's terrifying. I don't want anything to do with that. All right, so it's my turn. Mm hmm. <clears throat> So evade, move, do this thing. To move up. To move up. 
Take two physical and one sanity from that dancer. Don't die. This one would also get T, right? Not if I'm here. Oh, it can only it moves twice once. Yeah. Yeah. And then okay. you have a chance to see if that's our location. First action evade. This is a bad one. It's a three because it's going to be my first action. All right. Four to three with Granny. I'm going to go up one. Five to three. Hmm. I technically dropped my clue here. See if that ends up mattering. Hmm. And there was already a clue there. But this the gas mask is the main problem here. So you fail. Mm -hmm. And we put a doom on? Well. Yes. That's bad in every possible way. I'm going to take two sanity on a granny. It continues to be engaged with me. I get an extra action, so I guess I, I still have the economy to do something. All right. Doom on. Two on to the piper there. Or two on to granny. You heard the pipes. Second action. Let's try it again. Currently a four to a two with a plus one granny threshold. Pretty good. Can't hate that. Three tokens of fail. What's half rounded up over there? Three? Well, that's very convenient. So I fail by uh, by one, granny it up. That's success. Mm. Don't have any clues, though. Third action of four. Fourth action. It's minus one. Don't you need to move up? I can't. I can't reveal a location, can I? Or do I do the thing? You remove a resource from the okay. last resource yeah. here to yeah, move. Yeah, up. yeah. Let's do it. it. Slides out. That's right. Our grand plan achieved. Okay. Done. Enemy's enemy. Hunters are going to hunt. Mindless dancer. Moves here, I assume. And he can move too closer to you. Take two and one sanity. Stella is dancing. And then everything readies. Draw a card. Gain a resource. Doom on Azza. Draw me that encounter card, would you? And cut through the silence in the room with a knife. A whispered bargain. Place a doom on Azathoth, or Azathoth attacks you. I think you know which one I'm choosing. Doom on. Okay. Art. Here we go. Back to the back to one. <clears throat> well. First test is plus one difficulty. So that'd be a four to a four. Granny can pump one. I think I've got to give myself a chance here. That's all we can ask for. Yeah. Okay. Jan saying, imagine if that is the Black Throne. All right. Starting off, will to survive. Do you not reveal chaos tokens? Four to four says auto evaded. Wow. So it's pretty nice because even if you don't six, like finish the game here, he won't move. It'll move and stop because that's in a location. Mm -hmm. It'll move and move. And like, you technically have one more turn if that is a black throne, whatever it is. Let's hope to. I don't even <laughs> want to know. Can we just cut the stream and go? My heart can't take it this week. Infinity of Darkness. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing to be done. Hmm. 
third action clue. Uh, can you even reveal now? You could technically, because we can, we could get one to the right. Mm. Mm hmm. All right. So I'm just gonna take. I'm gonna take my second action, my third action. It's a one shroud. I'm good with that. Got it. Okay. End. End of the round? End of the round. Enemy's gonna enemy? Enemies hunt. So he goes here and stops. He goes here and here. And he can't. He doesn't hunt? Well, he does, but he can't go to an empty. <laughs> no, that's hilarious. And All right, I draw hilarious. a card in a resource. I had the will to survive. Uh, do you want Asatha? Eight. Cards. Whispered Bargain. Place one on Asatha there. Man, Nine. What a weird way to end. It's just like whispered bargains everywhere. All right. First action. Let's give this a shot. I think we're just going to go. We're going wherever the map leads us at this point. Connect to the right. Two clues. Uh, and then we could remove one, but we're not going to. Second action. Investigate. Order three. Success. At least look at the location you can reveal. Because this is all going to go here. So, I'm going to get one more clue while I'm here. But doesn't it end? Yeah, if it gets to 10, it's resolution 1. Is it 10? How many is on it? 9. Hmm. Nothing to be done about that. Let's take a let's take a look ski. Spend a clue. What do we got? Connect below. All right. And then it's a dog pile like you've never seen before. <laughs> Three mindless dancers. And that is the one that yeah, that's, that's the basement. Yeah. yeah, that's the basement. What was this? Not it. Oof, we would never have chosen that one. You have to clear four off of it. You know what's crazy though? I was to like I was totally in a position to do that. I had to look what I found in hand. It was like if we find the black throne, I can drain that thing in less than a turn. Wouldn't that have been insane? <laughs> if this had been the black throne, you could oh have done my it. gosh, yeah, it was over. The game was over if that was black throne. That's that's crazy how close that was. Considering I thought we were like done for, done for. Yeah. That, that's okay. Resolution one. Ready yeah, let's go. Let's go to narration. To the mic. Even when you lose, you don't necessarily lose. Oh, we have lost. <laughs> Resolution one. Go to page two seven. <clears throat> the primal chaos awakens. Its hunger is unbearable. It unhinges its cosmic jaw. The ma opens wide. The universe is silenced. Aeons pass. All is still. At the center of the empty cosmos, the blind idiot god is lulled to sleep once more. It dreams. Within its dream, a burst of cosmic energy expands outward in all directions. A universe is born. Nebula collapse and become stars. New worlds are forged and new beings evolve to inhabit them. Inevitably, one learns of Azazoth. It, its worship grows. In the end, all will succumb to madness or join in oblivion. For in the grand scheme of fate, we are but specks of dust adrift in the aether, living only by the whim of an uncaring cosmos. In your campaign log record, Azazoth devoured the universe. Each investigator is killed. The investigators lose the campaign. The end. But how much experience do we get? That's the big question here. <laughs> See the big the end in bold? Where'd you get that book? Uh, Reading Rainbow. Wow, that was pretty yeah. You made a noble sacrifice. To give us a chance. Stella had the will to survive. Uh, and then uh, just didn't didn't hit the one out of four there. 
I mean, we had a 25 percenter. You can't hate it. Pretty all right. And honestly, you had the most dumpster game I've ever seen. It was not a great game. Just like it was not a great game. When we got five turns in, you had one card to play. <laughs> yeah. That is that is bad. But we adapted. We overcame. Yeah. I I think we did pretty well. I think in, in Arkham it is a hundred percent about playing to your outs all mm -hmm. the time. Um, and you know, basically you start out the game and who knows what the percent of meters at. And as things get worse, your odds get worse and worse, and you kind of have to start taking certain lanes of play. That was the Essex, Essex County scenario for us. It just happened to work out, uh, which was a fun time. This is pretty crazy. So Black Throne at the end of the game gets plus X, so it would have been a tin shroud location. Isn't it half? Half of the doom. Oh. So it would have been five or six. Okay, so the first test, you look what I found for two. And then you've got to do old key ring minus two shrouds. You're at four with granny and whatnot. So you have two and quick learners at minus one. So those were so doable. Oh, that's so frustrating. Can you imagine the cinematic beauty that that would have been? <laughs> Keen, you guys did really well for how badly you got. Uh, so was, <laughs> I think this is the hardest end scenario of all the campaigns. Yeah, I can see why it's... I mean, you have the three layers that you have to get through, and these enemies are awesome. big. I feel like if we had one of the big fighters that we've played, like if I had Zoe or something, Just take I could others. actually deal with these enemies. But neither of us were good enough at investigating or attacking to like really thread the needle. But we were, we were good at, at, at doing weird things the whole time. The whole campaign, we were just good at like finding weird ways to accomplish what needed to be done. Like even this last one, the the enemies didn't really, they didn't really affect us. Yeah, we made it. We made a plan where they could go where it wasn't that impactful. We were able to evade them when we needed to. I I felt good about our enemy dealing. In that we couldn't really do it. Like, it was yeah. good for not having a clear, like, this guy's got a shotgun and he's going to kill these demons. Yeah. I mean, I think we did what we had to do, which is evade them and run. Yeah. That's what our characters do. And it kind of is nice because it makes you play really, really wily the whole time. You've got to be like, ah, what's going on? It's not quite as straightforward as it can sometimes be when you have a seeker that is just gathering up clues with a seven mm -hmm. book stat and a guardian that's just shooting things with an eight yeah. attack stat. I definitely think that That's fun. playing with these Investigator starter decks pushed me to play in ways that I wouldn't have ever naturally played. Yeah. Because I'm not as min-max. So I think that was a really great experience for that alone. Yeah. That was awesome. Yeah. And the conclusion was pretty epic. Like, it felt... It just felt like a lot was on the line without it being so uh, kind of overbearing. Like, the dancers were, like, scary, mm -hmm. but dealable. There was music, there's obviously creepy music going around and all these weird tentacle dancey things are happening. And the threat was not overt at all. Yeah. Is Azalot just sitting mean, around? Yeah. Um, and this was really cool. I like the empty space. I thought that was well space. done. That's really, really clever. I thought that was really well done. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, for sure. I, I definitely, it was a very different kind of campaign. Um, I will say some of the choices Eerie. made along the way. Um, it didn't feel as directly like when we were giving up the mementos or making those choices. I didn't, even when we decided to support the witches, I didn't know that's what we were doing exactly. Yeah. I guess I should have kind of read between. Maybe the that was our fault. Yeah. I would have loved to have some mementos here in the in the last stages. All those mementos were super good. I'd love to know what the lines do. I remember we go this way. People were like, "Oh no, you're gonna regret giving those away." Yeah. But and what did we get out of that? We got we earned it. their trust, and then we burned them. <laughs> so did it ever actually achieve anything story-wise? Productive <laughs> at all. Just goes to show, man. You don't want to like uh, you know earn people's trust and then betray them. It's yeah. never worth it. Yeah, it's not. It's not. Well, this is uh, true. David's saying this. All this really made him want to try the investigators with like a custom-built deck. Yeah. Because I do feel like like with uh, Winnie, there's so many skill cards that if I could have just had them in my deck. So nuts. It, it, she could be really amazing. Maybe only skill cards and cigarette cases. I mean, at a certain point. That cigarette your, card case is gangster. You're a new Tony. It's like a new Tony Zeros uh, or whatever. What did you play that was skill heavy? That had, uh, it was the set Roland or it was one of those weird investigators. It wasn't, wasn't the that, bounty hunter, wasn't was it? Joe? It was Joe Diamond. With the yeah. uh, hunch deck? Yep. Yeah. And the practiced uh, skill cards. And I did the deciphered reality. Oh, man. That was that was good moment. Yeah, that was Carcosa, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I think I might play um, alternate reality skids in the campaign coming up. I haven't played Rogue in a long time. I've always kind of liked it. 
So I might try Rogue, especially with all the new cards that you're bringing to the table. Those guns are off the chain, man. I'm I'm running those from these these decks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So just the little, if you didn't catch it earlier, we're planning to play Dream Meters next. We're gonna do deck building next week. Um, but from what I know, you actually built two Dream Meters decks. Yeah. And one of the investigators you play in reality, and the other in the Dream World. They're two totally like normal decks that you built. I think so. Uh, it's basically like when you're dreaming, you play as this character in this deck. You know it would be sick if you did parallel skids and normal skids as your two investigators. That's interesting. And you could do but with different decks. Yeah, and then you could do uh, Daisy and parallel Daisy. She's hmm. the tome reading seeker. Um, so my <laughs> Morton Thomas saying yes. Uh, so one thing I the only class I have not played yet is Mystic. Mm, you need to play Mystic. So that's on my short list. We'll see. We'll get into deck building next week and see what we, we want to do. Yeah. Um, you need to play Mystic. I think, well, if we got four decks to build, that's the whole stream next that's week. What, that was my plan. It's yeah. like, we're just going to take, take our time. And, and it'll be cool because we've just gone from such a limited perspective. I've got an idea. But then we get a bunch of cards. You should play Dexter Drake, the magician. The new guy. He just came yeah. out. He was yeah. on my short list. Yeah. And we've got, I've got the um, advanced cards for him from one of the novellas so you have two choices on which signature cards to run when did the novella come out or apparently it's called the blood of balthasar or whatever it's from a couple back um i got the cards from robert or um you can run both the signature cards and both the weaknesses rather than choosing between the two very cool i think all right well take i remember that's how it worked yeah huh oh and a new parallel agnes agnes is a witch that would be very fitting after circle undone yeah i got she's witch. one of the the mystics here in in circle undone i think uh, Keenblade saying, do you guys have a favorite scenario from the cycle? My favorite is for the greater good, the one where you're getting keys at the lodge. Yeah, where we were having to dive through various things. Um, man, I, you know what? I was pretty fond of the, of the lost in the woods thing at the very beginning well, where you, you stuff. have stuff, you have stuff in front of you oh, that only you're yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then eventually it kind of connects and then you're like, ah, that was very bewildering and there's goats everywhere. That yeah. was pretty cool. That was like a classic horror movie to me. There were, it was like we did okay at first and then we got dunked on once or twice in a row and then there were a couple there in the middle that I really liked. Yeah. Um, and I, I liked the theme of all of it. It was uh, creepy like it should have been and like a uh, old haunted house with the witches in it and mm -hmm. like going back in time. The and hexes stuff. and all those hexes. Yeah. That felt really witchy. That was properly witched. That'd be great. Um, well, hey, thanks for joining us, everybody. For the entire Circle and Dunk campaign, we're so happy that you watched and that you're here and that you uh, spent some time uh, joining us for this. This is a, a great joy that we get to do this. Absolutely. On a weekly basis. It's uh, amazing. This is more Arkham than I've ever played in my life on a consistent level. And you can't ask for more. There's a whole lot of Arkham. Yeah. For sure. And uh, heads up, too, if you're watching this and it's towards the end or end of 2020 or beginning of 2021, uh, we do have holiday uh, tokens uh, available, and if they're out of stock, sign up for the waitlist. We'll get those back. I saw a lot of people asking questions about that along the way. Yeah. We're going to get those in as often as fast as we can, and then sometime in probably January, they'll go away. Uh, limit. It's just for the holiday season, so keep your eyes peeled. Yeah, and it's worth it's worth uh, noting, too, like, um, just to be perfectly honest about this, like, we're our intent is not to make the holiday tokens a collector's item that like if you happen to get the first two runs you get them and nobody else does um we want as many people who want to buy these tokens to have them we're not trying to like pull yeah. back suppliers and we're literally just trying to make them as fast as we can um because obviously that you know there's production and production is a little slow with covid even here in tulsa uh, and we want to make sure we make the best products that we can so if if they're going to run maybe a couple weeks longer than normal we're fine with that obviously if people want them and they're buying them uh, then we'll we'll keep them available for a little while. So, like, if you're stressing out about it, <laughs> like, I don't know if I'll ever get these, and they were sold out immediately, and now I'm, like, nervous, um, don't be nervous or let it, like, uh, make you feel uh, stressed or weird because there will be plenty of opportunity to get these tokens. Uh, so don't, don't create anxiety. But when they are available, anxiety for grab yourself. them. Yeah, there will be a point but, where we But do, do grab them. Yeah. But, you know, don't, don't freak out. You don't have to stay up all night or anything. It eventually we'll catch up to demand and we'll have a good couple of weeks, I hope, where you know you, you have plenty of time to, to grab what you need. Yeah, and for everyone that has been buying those or any of the Arkham components or signing up for a subscription to automatically receive, today's the release of a new scenario pack. I think it's like War of the Outer Gods or something. It's the second in Innsmouth, right? And, and you've second, got it. And the pack, the second pack, but then yeah. there's the scenario as well. There's the scenario. Came out today. Yeah. If you're a subscriber already and you got charged for that, that should be at your door today or tomorrow, or if you're in the U.S. Um, or sometime soon. 
Um, but yeah, if you want to sign up to automatically receive that, all of that makes everything we do here possible. So we really appreciate it. It is an honor to be here. And I'm very much looking forward to diving into deck building next week. Until then, stay safe, and we'll catch you guys on the other side of the weekend.